This what y'all was waiting on? Y'all niggas wanted me to go to jail, right? Y'all wish the judge gave me a lie here, then y'all? Fucking haters. Y'all Freddy? What y'all gonna do now? Y'all can't kill me. Gangsta, gangsta. You home? You home? You brought me home? Brought me home? Brought me home? Philly. Philly. We did it. Flamers! The wait is over. Bitch, I'm back. Hate to see my face and all the I'm privileged drinkers, baby. Yeah, Mr. Hottest in the United States. Swag on the million, my float be on out of space. I'm snatching rapping niggas out they place. Any, meeny, miny, mo. Knock them all out the way. Hit that nigga Drake. Call Weezy up. My niggas move them birds too. Call Jeezy up. Ask them if they playing ball, see if they cheap enough. Pac Man, the rap game. Tell them all. I'm privileged drinkers, baby. Hey, Reese, let me do the Yo, what's up? We back with another one. Unprivileged drinkers, taste testers for the hood. But suburban safe. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The gang is here. We um, this is what wild card weekend and some shit like that. So super we, wild card super weekend. Super wild card weekend. Yeah. Super wild of course, card. They, weekend. they they put they put the best show in town. On Monday night, you know, versus the GOAT. You know what I mean? They did that to be smart. But, I mean, you know, for the ratings. Absolutely. Tom Brady, greatest of all time. I, you know, there's no denying that. Cowboys, still America's team. I don't think there's no denying that. So, um, it is what it is. For sure. We shall see. Um, I, I've been drinking all weekend. I'm going to continue to drink. I'm a damn sure I have me quite a few drinks tomorrow. And I have off on Tuesday, just in case you don't need to... Uh, Nah, I can't say that. But just, <laughs> just, just in case, I just need a little, little mind relaxing. Just another day off to uh, decompress from the stress, possibly, or you know, a victory against the Bucks, who, uh, whom, which, um, shit, the last two years we lost them in the, and the first, yeah, the first game, first of, game the year, of the season, first yeah. game of the year, um, both times, zero uh, and seven against Brady. Um, jeez, man, I. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really want to get too far into it, but you know, it's it's a lot of storylines as to uh, leading up to the reason why the Cowboys and the Bucks are on Monday night. I'll just say that for sure, for sure. But yeah, yeah, as you can see, um, you got the gang here. We got the beer guy here because um, one of our guys, Dirty, he under the weather. He couldn't make it out um, this weekend, so you know, he we chilling. So you know, we got somebody to come in and fill in for him. You've seen him before a few different times, but we're gonna jump into this and uh, we're gonna talk to y'all for a few minutes. You know what I mean? The game is on, so we I mean we ain't trying to be in here too we long. You know hurry I mean? the fuck up. Yeah, we got to get this shit going. So obviously, you know who you got here. You got the regular guys, Uncle Reese. Um, you know, I don't do much. I just you know, I mean, we make it happen. Um, and over across from him, we got the little bro. What's up, y'all? Dink, aka Pooty. You know, we out here chilling out at at. I swear, I keep about to say, oh, not <laughs> we over at Reese Crib on Dela, Delaware, and um, you know, came out here to give y'all some some good. I'm privileged drinkers, baby. Some shit, and of yeah. course, drink. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, to the left of me, what's up, everybody? My name Rel, aka the Beer Guy, which was coined by I don't know who, but I gotta be I, Tim. I, uh, That's some Tim yeah. shit. I've been called the beer guy. You know, I I came through and blessed them with these beers called yeah, yeah, he did. Kona Brewing Company, different flavors. And uh, right now we enjoying them. And I got to say, like, this is probably some of the best beer that I had in a yeah, while. It's a good so, job. Uh, yeah, so thanks, everybody. And Daryl, I'm thinking about you, bro. Absolutely. Hope you're feeling better, bro. And to my left, we got... Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. <laughs> Uh, we, we we didn't fly on the way, you know, the rest of the Jets uh, this weekend. Uh, we actually drove on over here to Felton, where, where we're currently at. Um, 
So we ain't, we ain't fly. You know, it was just a smooth ride here. No <laughs> traffic. And uh, we enjoying the weekend, man. And uh, traffic. we're just enjoying ourselves. Look, I think I've been, I, ain't, I haven't been drunk since I've been here. But I've been like quite nice. I was hot as shit last night, though, man. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. But I, I've been grooving, having a good time, you know, just relaxing, taking it easy, and uh, enjoying family and friends, man. That's what it's all about. Well, this ain't no friends. This is fucking family. Absolutely. Enjoying family. So uh, that's what I'm doing. You know, I, I actually, hmm. So last year, um, when the Cowboys played in the playoffs of the Wild Card weekend, um, we came here last weekend. Uh, I mean, last weekend, last year. Um, during the same holiday, um, a few of us, well, I'll say well, quite a few of us have off on, on Monday, so mm-hmm. you no, know, it just makes sense. So, I'm, I'm actually trying to uh start a tradition uh, as far as uh, you know, coming down Delaware and uh, enjoying a festive weekend of football and uh, you know, friends and uh, fellowshipping, and that's what we're gonna do, whether the Cowboys in it or not. You know, it makes it that much better when your team's in it. Sorry for you, little bro. Uh, Sorry, I you know no pun intended, but because <clears throat> uh, la- <clears throat> last year, man, if he wasn't here last year, but last year the Raiders wasn't it. But not to get too long with it. That's why we're here, you know. I, I look forward to keeping it, keeping it going, man. But yo, let's uh, let's let's before we move on, you said family and friends, like you said before. Same friends, though. It's family. Yeah, it's friends. Football and family for sure. For, keep, yeah, let's, let's, let's keep uh, it like that. we yo we can label. Our weekend, football and family weekend, super wild card weekend football. But of course, we're gonna you know pay homage to you know Dr. King and all that and on tomorrow. And uh, but definitely we're going. What you want to label it? Family and friends. Well, fa- family. What you say? Football fa- and family. Family and football. <clears throat> F and F. We can do so. You know, F and F. Family and football weekend, wild card weekend. Um, we're going we, we drink a lot uh, typically because. We will find a name. Uh, Fuck it. We'll find a name. Yeah, yeah, because it's just. It can't be F and F because that girl sang that song. So, no. We can't oh, yeah. Uh, it's like oh, we can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Um, it's kind of like bittersweet. I'll say this real quick because the simple fact of we're all like like avid fucking football fans and like we're like embedded to this shit emotionally, financially. <laughs> we're just like just all the way in. Um just we we deep we were deeply involved into the game of football. Um, I would say it's all of our favorite sports, probably. Yeah, for sure. Right, well, yeah, of what course. Question. Um, it's our favorite sports, so it's bittersweet because we're really like dwindling down to like the last weeks, the final weeks of like football, NFL, um, football, um, yeah. of course. Um, it's that's it. That's that's why it's bittersweet. Should be depressing when it's over. Yeah, because when sure. it's over, like you know, we 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 really love basketball. Football is just like it's just like it's head and hills above the rest of other yeah. sports that you know we're interested in. So, mm-hmm. so that's we, just, when football's over, we got to give our Sundays back. Yeah, yeah to your wives so. or your side Jones or you know your sex what partners. In or, the hell? Sorry, my bad. It's, no, no. Did I say that. Be talking, dog. I see. <laughs> Like, what are we talking about? Yo. Uh, carry on. Criminating ass nigga, yo. Welcome to the right. podcast, bro. Good Lord, you criminating. Right. So um we're going to jump into this shit. Before we do, obviously, we gotta get our drinks together. Um, a little shot of clock. We got something special today. So um we wanna see what's up with that. And what you got? Uh you won't introduce it? Because I mean you did pick it up, so all right. So uh, I'll introduce it. So we have whether I'm saying this right or not, oh, I'm not man. sure. Ar- Arte Azul Tequila, 100% agave azul, product of Mexico. It's an extra aged. Um, and yeah, hell. Put it in the camera. Make I ain't know the fuck the camera's it. at. Also over there. Can't uh, you do it. Um, so what happened was, I'm I brought drinkers, this shot baby. to Roger Wilco. Um, that's where I purchased this bottle from. And I figured I would treat my drinkers uh, this weekend due to the simple fact of, you know, I want some money playing fantasy football. And I decided, you know, yeah, listen, I'm going to treat my guys. Yeah. And yeah, this bottle, I mean, if you want to know the price point of it, you know, you can Google it or whatever. I ain't nothing like gloating. You know, it wasn't really nothing to gloat for. It's just, honestly, it's the most expensive bottle I think, yeah, I've ever brought. And uh, I did that because I won some money, like I said, again, on fast football. 
Um, you can Google it, look it up. Um, I know for a fact you can get it from Roger Wilco. <clears throat> I'm not sure where you can order and you know have it delivered to your house um, from, but it's a, it's an expensive bottle for, for my pockets, I'll say. Um, so I figured, listen, I'm gonna treat my guys. Um, so that's the reason why I brought this. Um, I typically don't buy like eh, I don't know what y'all call it. expensive. I mean, I don't really, I don't really buy. Huh? You extended this. Come on, man. What? You extended it. You, you oh, going well. on? You going on and well, on? Well. You should treat yourself sometimes. So that's the reason why I brought it though, to treat my guys. That's what I'm talking about. I'm in right Barry God told me to shut the fuck up and drink. You, you long so, so, so that's what we going to do. But uh, this is a bottle for my guys, and I figure we can all have it for the first time a day because we are unprivileged drinkers. And that's what we're going to do sit up here and drink on, fa- on uh, family and football weekend. And uh, I don't have a shot. Oh, this, this reminds me of yeah, it's you. All right, let's pull it up. Let's see. Damn, I don't dirt. You ain't hear it. I, mean, I don't even think you can pop it like that. I think it's. Let me see. Oh, this it's made out of some type yeah. of like. Break it. Oh, there it is. I don't know what material this is, but listen, I'll tell you this. You come to my house, and if it's going to be pump faking, it's for the aesthetics of my bar. So, because I don't next time buy another bottle of this. I mean, it should do look good, that's for sure. Well, we definitely got to make sure we save some for our god dirt. Oh, yeah, we definitely right. going to save some for dirt. Definitely going to save some. So, wait, we're we not taking a shot. You want to sip it, you said, right? I said, I think we should sip a clock. Um, we're all big time like tequila fans. And I think to give it, it's just due um, solely off of the simple fact the, that it had to be unlocked from a case, so to speak. I don't know, you know how many people have been to Roger Wilco, but, you know, they have to open all expensive shit. With a key, where the Louis 13, 13 is at and all that, even though that's nowhere near the price point of that. Shit. But <laughs> nowhere near. Shit. But this was at this was in the case. Yeah. That's ma- what, what material is that made out of? I don't that's know. Ceramic. Oh, yeah, matte ceramic. Yeah, like ceramic. Yeah, that's what it is. I'll tell you one thing, shit smells amazing. Yeah. Yeah, definitely a good smell. All right, so well, we going to sip a clock. We're not going to yeah. shout a clock right now, but if that's what you choose to do, Hey, seven o'clock or a shot o'clock. To uh, to dirt man, may may you get better, brother. We missing you, um, the family. Thank you, great, you, bro. Absolutely, to great vibes and uh, prosperity in twenty twenty three, man. May we all level up. Absolutely, yes, let's go. Tap the table. Tap tap. Shit. Oh. Tap, the floor, tap for whatever you can tap. Man, couch, whatever. Hard, yeah, I'm just sipping those so I can get a taste profile. <laughs> Whoa! I wasn't expecting that. Damn, that shit tastes like candy. Yeah, that's that shit's good. That's good though. I mean, it's yeah, definitely a good this taste. Is extremely dangerous. Yeah, I didn't expect for extremely taste like good that, though. Yeah, you get you get you definitely get fucked up off of this right here. But, but no, but but good. I but wonder. I feel like I don't, wow. you know what though. I'm glad we doing. Shit. I'm glad we just sipping this because this was this this was this is for. Yeah. You sip this. This is good. This is hey. good. Put it over uh, you uh, with the um, oh, of what? I'll say like a what's the uh, which one called the ice, the ice, ice ice sphere. Yeah, one of them ice joints and sip this joint. Yeah, this is dangerous. This is it's very, it's, it's, it's listen. It's very flavor, good. Very flavorful. Good. Um, I, it's it's sweet. Agave is is a fruit, right? Yeah. So like, I'm not sure what they did to make this sweeter. But yeah, listen, it's sweeter sweet. in like a good way for your palate. Like, it really, it really is. I think anybody who doesn't like tequila, they would. Mm-hmm. This if they and if because tequila sometimes can be a little uh, bitter, mm-hmm. and if people would like their uh, liquor a little sweet or right. have some kind of flavor into it, I think this would be perfect for them. Yeah, yeah, because a lot of times what people don't understand about tequila is it's supposed to burn. So most tequilas that are made. Um, today and the ones that our community consumes, they are not additive free. So a lot of them got additives in it to give you a certain taste profile and all that kind of stuff to try to give you a smoother finish. But tequila, the way it's typically made, is supposed to give you a burn. It's a, just the way it's made. So this here is literally like no burn at all. I don't know the specifics on it, but again, about the additives and all that shit. He was <laughs> yeah, I don't. We're know not sure. Listen. I don't know, but it's good though. But like I said, this is probably the sweetest tequila that I've ever had. They don't say like a coconut or anything like specific that that's on the bottle that you can kind of like 
point to to say, oh, that's what they're trying to go after. But this is good Definitely. though. I, I like it. Um, Definitely. I, I gotta probably. Do I would a little like bit to of put this up it. against the uh, the uh, Grand Caramino and Yale. Mm. See, the Grand Caramino and Yale is good, but it's not. It's not. It's still nothing compared. I've never had anything this sweet. This is very sweet. as a regular tequila. I like I to have know. them side by side though, because that one had a. Uh, God, notes are like, oh my God, some type, not nuts. It was something in there, man. Mm-hmm. Not cinnamon, wasn't peanut butter, wasn't wasn't vanilla. chocolate, vanilla. It was the vanilla for sure. It was some vanilla, nutmeg, some type, some type of nutmeg was in that too, I believe. I can't remember, but I know. I know. Anyway, yeah, it was, it was, it was it a fall a, flavor. I know that's what sure I got it had from it. Vanilla in it. Right, that's probably what you're thinking of, because that's what I remember. It was something sweet, not sweet, but. You know that finish that you kind of get like, oh, okay, I, I taste the flavor in it, but that's not bad though. However, let's jump into it. Um, so let's talk about our weeks. Um, today we're actually recording on a Sunday, like we said, we're watching the football games, a Super Wild Card weekend. The guys came down to come show some love. Um, we did this last year, like he was stating before. Um, not everybody who's here now came, but um, last year it was the Eagles and the, the Bucks. Um, Dirty was here, so he watched his team lose first, and then he was a little depressed and went down and went to sleep. Then we watched our team lose the following, like that, right after that. Yeah, we got pictures. Just go look at them. Yeah, yeah, we we, we watched. <laughs> I thought we we was actually probably on even social on media live. somewhere. Um, we was on live and shit, talking shit and everything yeah. too. And uh, yeah, I was on. Yeah, yeah, it was bad. It was real bad. So we yeah, was really yeah, excited. Yeah. We was hyped. We thought we was gonna win that game, but. The captain, if you were watching our previous episodes, um, he kind of came up with the idea of maybe making this a um, like a week, a yearly annual thing. Uh, so where wild card weekend we play now. Granted, I was telling him like if some things would have happened, like if the Eagles would have lost, and I think the Niners needed to lose and we needed to win, it wouldn't have been that. We wouldn't have played obviously, so it wouldn't have even made yeah. sense. But we still been here. Monday, um, we play Monday, so they made us play on Monday anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But I say all that to say um, I'm excited uh, for. a the games that's already been played, like there's been some exciting games. Obviously, we've seen Trevor Lawrence come back against the Chargers. That was cool to watch. Um, T. The, Law and Dougie Fresh. They put up a fight up against um, uh, the Dolphins. Put up a fight against the Bills without their starting quarterback. That was cool. That shocked me. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, but the week was cool though. Uh, overall, just just mm. kind of getting back into the week. My week was solid. Shout out sweet treats. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm trying to start back and move my way up. Oh, my that's what I was saying. Like, let's get back into the week take. But the week, like I said, the week was cool. We um we prepared to have people over, so we you know we kind of like um straighten some things out because um you know when, when you know how your house is on a regular basis, it's cool, but it ain't like worthy for people to come over. So we was cleaning up throughout the course of the week, and I'm just kind of cleaning up shit. But one thing that I know I need to do is get my garage in order. My garage is like a fucking mess. I just throw shit in there. Um, whenever I buy something and there's a big ass box where I think about like when I move like art like a TV or some shit like that I keep a TV box so it's like I just been throwing shit in there so I cleaned it before and now I got to go back and do it again and it's just a shit ton of clothes um, outside of that the week was cool you know what I mean it's just a regular work week between me and my wife um, I know she had to do like a lot this was the largest payroll she had to do um, since she's been there it was like a 10 million dollar payroll or something like that so you know, that was a little stressful for her. So, you know, I'm helping with, with, with my son because he's a fucking crybaby. Um, but, you know, today, well, they came, you guys came Saturday. Yeah. Yeah, you came yesterday. So we were drinking. We played a game last night. We was drinking. You know, our ladies fell asleep except for Darrell. R- R- she's, I don't know, she's like a night owl. But no, she was no, she was capping. That's that's not it. No, so when she was right here, when we, we was playing again, no, that, that, that's that's new shit. I don't know. She got oh, yeah. second well, win over here. I don't know what that bullshit is. Yeah, because Tanisha went to sleep. Nick went to sleep. She's you know she's fucked up, man. But you know we played the game. That we had a little bit of fun. Joey did probably like 40, 50 push ups. Um, <laughs> we we uh, but we had a good time. And then today we you know we want to do some brunch, so we went to uh, Smyrna. This is my first time going there. Well, all of our first times going there. And um, it was a sweets and treats yeah, sweet restaurant and treats. bar, yeah. black owned spot down in Smyrna. You should go check them out. Um, it was amazing. The food was good. The, they were really hospitable. The drinks was on point. We had a um, what was it? Grand mimosa. Grand mimosa. Grand mimosa. Talk about the fried chicken, please. I'm gonna let you talk about the fried chicken. I'm gonna talk about the grand mimosa. 
But the Grand Mimosa was really, really good. I had two of them. <laughs> we had third. We wouldn't been to drive back. Oh yeah, the, 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 the second one, like I knew I was overdoing it, but I just wanted it because it was good. The taste, the taste was good. Um, and all it is is just like they add some Grand Marnier to the mimosa, but it did what it was supposed to do. So shout out to them. We appreciate it. We will be back. Um, but yeah, that's that's the week for me in, in, in summary. So whoever want to go next, y'all can go ahead. I ain't, I ain't go ahead. Yeah, because okay. I had, I ain't know I was doing my week review because I want to go ahead. I, I'll go. Let's bring it back to me real quick. I'll just try real quick. Um, yeah, my week was, uh, it was cool. It was chill. I don't, I don't, I can't really think of nothing that happened or, you know, that I can think of that was like, that's like worthy of talking about for real, for real. Cause it was just like a, it was a regular work week. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, as, as, uh, some of the listeners, listeners know me and dirt work together and, you know, we deal with, uh, certain kids and. Um, like I said, I can't, I can't think, I can't think of anything that like, like that popped during my week. So it was mm -hmm. just, it was just a week. It was just a week that I, a regular work week that I had, um, you know, still been watching, watching some TV. Me and the wife, we've been watching uh, Snowfall. I'm trying to catch up so I can have that conversation with you guys about Snowfall. Oh, show. Um... And I'm still watching Abbott Elementary, which is fucking funny. I fucking love it that the latest episode that came on, it was about like like the kids fighting or whatever. And it was it was that was it was fun. Um anything else? Yeah, no. Like it was a regular week. Just chilling, watching sports and watching TV. Faux show. Next. Uh well, you know. My week, you know, I work downtown, so I don't know if everybody know or seen, but on the news, I forget the certain day it was that uh, some random guy stopped in the middle of oh, yeah. uh, 15th and Market. You know, I go I drive down that, that way. Uh, this was but this was even before I dropped my daughter off because my daughter goes to school downtown. So I dropped her off, and on my way, hmm. I was getting ready to cross over the the incident happened right before I was getting ready to cross over, and they made a detour, and we had to go another way for me to get to my uh, job. We don't. Thankfully, uh, I didn't get a chance to pass through when that happened, but I um I um was uh everybody was safe, but that incident kind of was kind of shook me up, and they had to lock down my door to school because, like I said, her school is not that far from. Uh, that incident that happened, so that was a little wild and crazy. And, but thank God nobody was hurt in that incident. Yeah. Um, but uh, you know, work for me, work was uh, work was pretty cool. I um, I had to do, stay down there for a couple of packages that was getting delivered from UPS, sometimes from FedEx. Um, they didn't come on time a few times, and if they're not there when I'm leaving, it's like, all right, well. I'll get it the next day or whenever y'all get it or right. y'all gonna leave it at y'all a certain location I'll go get it but yeah and um I finished watching The Best Man Holiday finally mm -hmm. I mean oh, Best Man series the uh, final chapters final right? chapters oh, that joint was that joint was pretty good I enjoyed I'm that and um I didn't finish it okay, can I ask you a question how many episodes in there? eight yeah, yeah. I'm, only two, I'm only two in it was good. I, That's because you ain't got a, he ain't got a uh, a young lady at home, yeah. so he can take his time watching it. Yeah, that's a, that's a, hmm. yeah. yeah. I don't lonelies. Yeah, because <laughs> if he had somebody at home, she'd be like hyped. Like, come on, we gotta watch I, it. I tell I tell you all the time, man. If I had, like when I was in a relationship, I love shit like that. Like, but I don't have like the little because that's the show you watch with a woman or or your man. Like you know what I mean? Like that's that's one of them type of shows y'all can have a little dialogue about it. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. A little yeah. late night after the kids go to bed or while they up playing them, whatever. That's 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 the moment for you and your lady friend, your wife, your girlfriend, your side joint, fuck partner, oh whatever. God, yo, what, what's up? With well, maybe you not a that? fuck partner, but the why fuck? you keep bringing in the side yeah, joint? What's going shit? on with that? Huh? I mean, I'm finished. You kept you went on a whole tangent, but I'm finished anyway. But my week was pretty cool, and I'm um, I'm happy to be here joining with y'all. We're happy to have you. <laughs> I appreciate that. Right. Um, I wanted to. Uh, I didn't really get to. Far into my week, um, I do want to 
Uh, shout out my nephew Jabir. Turn 21. I want to take a little little sip of clock for nephew. Dang, I mean, happy beer. birthday to you, man. I met you when you was about seven, I believe, and, uh, or six, six or seven. And uh, I just want to have a little sip for you, man. Shout you out because I know you, you know you're a fan of the podcast. Me, you listen, and uh, you, you know you're a big supporter, man. So I just want to sip a clock for him real quick. Absolutely. Happy birthday. Yeah, it Happy was his birthday. birthday. I forgot about it. It definitely was his birthday. We had a birthday for uh Quack. Quack had a birthday. Right. Happy birthday. Uh, 21. Yeah. Well, not Quack, but uh I think uh, Quack is 24. 24, 24 so, for Quack hmm. and Jabir 21, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that, that's definitely we definitely had some January birth. Somebody else I feel like we missing too, but Oh. Attic Brewery. Attic Brewery had their three year anniversary. Their third, their third year anniversary. Shout out to Attic Brewery. I mean, our our folks over there. Um, Lower that was the first time we ever had a live show. Is with yeah, yeah we Brewery. was like appreciating them all night that. for that. Yeah. We paid them homage, man. Showed our gratitude for sure. Yeah, and that was crazy. Is you know every time we go to Attic Brewery, we spend tons and tons of money because they got so yeah. many different flavors of beer. So if you do not know, I know you know the address. What's the address? One thirty one East Berkeley. 131, I thought it was 137, but 131. Oh, 137, 137 East Berkeley, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Get down at the Attic Brewery, man. Show Berkeley our people, Wayne, uh, Todd and Laura, some love, man, because it is one of the places that it, it's a bright spot for Philly, especially for yeah. where it is. It, it, it's, I remember when it was being built, I remember like seeing like, damn, what the hell is that? I seen yeah, the tanks and shit. Yeah. And he was like, I don't know. But then when I remember it opened up, my mother-in-law had one. She's like, y'all ain't been over there? I'm like, oh, what is it? And then when she told me, I'm like, oh, shit, I never fucking knew. And here we are three years later. Like, damn, that's crazy that y'all opened up uh, three years ago, right before the pandemic. And then, right before. And y'all still chucking. So, you know, shout out to Todd and Laura. At yeah, and they, they, yo, it ain't like they didn't know who we were. Like, they knew exactly who we were. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like. We had conversations with him and Ty. I, did Ty have a beard before? He used to. Yeah, he did. So that's gone now. That's yeah, yeah. Straight. I seen pictures of yeah, him recently. Yeah, yeah, yeah they both look the same except for Ty. He, yeah. He chopped it off. Um, I told them we will be back with uh, one of our favorites, uh, the Basil Hayden Dark Rod, you know, because mm-hmm. for them, you know, their, th- their three anniversary. And um, I don't know what else y'all want to take them. But Ty was like, yeah, we drink a lot of, like, liquors. And uh, one of his favorites is bourbon. Mm. So, um. I told them we will be back, you know, with the full squad because it was me, Pootie, and our wife, Tanisha. Um, and we was there. Let's, we had a great time, man. What was that? Yeah. That one I had, the, the, oh, say it for me, man. That Mo, M- Munster. Because so they had Chief three dollars. Chief, Chief Mauser. Chief uh, Mauser. So they were doing good. specials and raffles. Right. Three dollars. Everything was three dollars. Oh. Three dollar beers. Oh. Yeah. Three dollars, and we know for a fact them beers Man. should not be that cheap because they they get Listen, they got some beer beers. My favorite one was was the, the monster one. Chief Mauser, Chief Mauser, Ma- whatever. <laughs> you fuck keep calling him like what you thinking Mauser. of? Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. Right. Chief, Chief Mauser, that was my favorite one. It came in at about six point five ABV yeah. or six point nine. Yeah. that was my favorite one. I'm not sure about Pooty. No, that uh, was mine. That was my yeah. favorite. Because yeah, favorite. we listen three dollars. Round them up. I think, <laughs> I think Tanisha's was the. Uh, it was the go. bottom one. It was like the Hold them up, knock them down. Yeah. Oatmeal one. Tanisha had this, the last one that was on the list, the oh, bottom one. Was, okay, is that the fifth one? Was, okay. Yeah, it was. I can't remember the name of it. It was the oatmeal joint that she had. Listen, check them out. Ag Brewery Code. Look them on my Instagram. You know, all those social media sites. I believe they are. I, I'm not. Instagram, I know for sure. Attic Brewery and Company is on there. Um, I think they, got a fa- I, they got a Facebook page too. I do want to talk about their three year age, uh, their three year beer. A three year. Yes. So they came out with a three year beer that's made in bourbon barrels, mm-hmm. has hints of chocolate. <clears throat> and I'm not sure what else, but they came out. It kind of reminds you of like a dark stout beer. Like I put you in mind, like a Guinness beer. Mm-hmm. It's, one, okay. it's one of those beers. Um, and I'm not a fan of Guinness, but the beer that I had that they let me sample at Ag Brewing Company, the three year beer, I was a fan of that. That comes in at about twelve point one or twelve point seven okay. ABV. So um, I was my, shit, the reason why we re- went there was to honestly bring a f- two four packs back yeah. or four pack. That's why we went there. But of course, we had yeah. one too many, and, and guess what? We forgot all about the shit. The shit. <laughs> that's what just, honestly that's how it is, though. <laughs> we was really like, yeah, 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 that bit. We had no shots. Just yeah, no, no, no shots. shots. Just three. Enjoying, I had three beers myself. I don't know how many here. I had three. Enjoying mm. the atmosphere. Enjoying yeah, the, the vibes. Yeah, they got the vibes there yeah, for sure. Talking, talking with Laura and Todd. 
Um, and that's the thing, man. You got to love it because they always talk to you. You know always, what I mean? Like, and always. it ain't just us. Like, don't think yeah, that. They're not no we behind not, the scenes only. Yeah, don't make it seem like it's just us because they know us and whatever the case may be. But they actually come out and talk oh, yeah. to their people yeah. and get to know you. So there's more of a connection there. You know what I'm saying? It's an experience that they create. Their beer garden is always on. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just, it's a lot, man. Like, it's I, a great I, vibe. I love that shit. I ain't going to lie, man. The food, hey. we, we've come across some good food there. The uh, the wok joint that they be yeah. Oh, oh yeah. man. Jama and Jamaica oh. D's is always there. Yeah. Uh, Burrito Feliz, shout yeah. out yeah, yeah. They be having the trucks out Constant there, so you can get your food. The Deeks is right next door too, yeah. so you, it's plenty of food options. Get you some of the mud fries. Oh man, they they got the food mud that's right in that area too. Long so. ride at long, yeah, ain't got no long listen, drive. After. Don't be don't be trying to drive here to Delaware. I, I tell you that much. Them on for the sure, yeah. <laughs> for but, sure. Um, the other the other thing I wanted to say about them was, like, we didn't even have to like not to say like you know, not like this, but. They knew exactly who we were when we, when when we were there. Like they said hi to us, and they you know they came to us and spoke to us. So like I appreciate that, and they support a lot of things in Philly. Like yeah, you got a business going on. They'll pet you know, care. Yeah, yeah, like uh, they do it all. The, the, they're heavy. What you they're call heavy. It jewelry, uh, costume, jewelry, food heavy, truck, yeah, heavy, oh, anything, heavy, whatever. Heavy supporters in in that in community. Philly. Period. Like yeah. they do heavy. heavy support. And that was the thing. I remember we talked to them. Um, on that episode And they were saying That they could have Built it anywhere yeah. They chose To put it right there mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying I'm like damn Of all places Germantown, yeah. She was like You know Because you know Germantown is If you don't know If you're not from Philadelphia um, Germantown is a really Historical area um, Today it You know It's married in a lot Of different things Obviously You know Violence and crime And things like that But where they put it at They didn't have to do that You know what I'm saying Like They rehabilitated And they, and they are You can just see Where they're expanding Outwardly And it's changing The culture there Because when you ride By there now it's crowded as shit, oh, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, Especially on a Friday. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, just it's packed. hard to get through. Woo! Friday. So, on that street. And it's positive. Like, you know what I'm saying? It ain't nothing crazy going on. It's a real positive vibe. So definitely, I'm glad y'all mentioned that. Because it was, I remember yeah, I seeing it. I forgot that. We did crazy. post it on the story. Y'all got to, let me tell you, take all your notes, man. My, my notes is in day, that man. phone, but you know. Yeah, hey, yeah. Listen, Monday if ain't nothing to happen. Tuesday if ain't nothing to happen. That's what I do. I really do. I, I just really delete forgot. and add. That was definitely a... And, and what you talked about it from the beginning of the week, right? You was talking about one. I told Laura on Friday. I said, keep sending them emails. Stay on them because everything I know about Attic Brewery is typically Instagram somewhat, but it's more so the email. I look at my email every day. I look at Instagram, but I don't do a lot like scroll. I'm not like a masterful scroller type of guy. So like emails, yeah. Um, I check my emails all the time, and that's how I found out about it. Honestly, yeah. I was like, damn, three you years. Was talking, wow. You was talking about it. What you? You saw the email or whatever, what, Tuesday? Or it, even Monday or Tuesday, you saw Yeah, it. Monday, Tuesday. And, and you I, asked me about it. And I, I was, was like, like yeah, I let's, can't let's, go there. I was like, I can't go there by myself. I was like, if me and you go there, that's going to be an argument. So I got to let the wife know first. Right, right. And yeah, make like, sure y'all get a wife. No, not including them with some shit. So man. I let her know. And she was like, hell yeah. Right, it's love. Like, hell yeah, I want to go. And... That's crazy. I'm now everything's starting to come back. The other thing was we picked up Girl Scout cookies, mm. but we're not oh, able yeah. to sell them until the 19th, right, of January. So this Thursday. So I'm no. just curious, right? If you was a dishonest individual, dishonest, it, <coughs> but you're not. You start selling a cookie. I can't sell none. I'm just saying. He just said. I just want to know. No. How would they know? Them. I know you can't, and you don't. How would they know? If you got a head start. <laughs> so. Man, I'm saying, like, seriously, real talk. How would they know? I, I, honestly, they really like, from from what I've been told, like, the wife could probably explain it better. But they really be, like, cracking down on this shit. Like, it's it's kind of like, like, yeah, like, you cheating. Like, you're getting an extra edge because you're selling shit before everybody else is able to sell the shit. So it's like you. It's like you kind of corner in the market to everyone to just come to you before you actually can sell the stuff. All right. Pull question real quick. A question amongst us unprivileged drinkers. Just amongst you, us? Amongst us right now because like, I mean, well, I mean, we're not going live right now. So between us, <coughs> how many of y'all do y'all think they pre-sell them cookies before it's time? You said how many what? How many pre-sell them? How many, how many do of us, how many of us unprivileged drinkers Believe that they pre-sell cookies, the ones the parents before it's time. Oh no, I believe I believe uh, it. I don't know. I, don't, I never. I believe it. I, I don't know. Just, a, just, a, it's just a 
No, assumption. I'm, I believe. I believe. I believe, some, believe I'm, I'm not saying all of them. Some of them. No, I believe everyone does it. Okay, it just well, it go. just depends. It depends on how you cover the shit up. But when you say pre-sell, do you just mean like they sell it to them but don't give it to them yet, or you mean they just literally just selling it to them before yeah, they're supposed yeah, to? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. so pre-sells meaning like so he says you can't. Okay, so Pooty says you can't sell officially the sell them to the nineteenth. Nineteenth, yes. Officially sell the cookies nobody, to the nineteenth. So when they start selling them the day the you the day you seen them, which was what the sixteenth or the fifteenth? I got them Friday. That was the fourteenth. No, that was the thirteenth. Right. Thirteenth. So. All right, you're right. All right, well, 13th. So, what at that point when you just start like offing cookies, like from, from that point on, I think you got somebody meeting you around I mean, the corner think, or a couple blocks away. I don't know if this is what it is, but I think if you could probably, people could probably, could people like put in their orders, orders and stuff and like you, that? Yeah. But you can't take the money you still. You just can't, you can't take you the, the transaction. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So, you can't, you just, can't take the money and you can't give out the cookies. From what I understand, or from what I'm I know. talking about unofficially, like on some illegal shit. Do I like, think that it's done? All right, you do put I think people, people, do I'm I sure think it's not illegal, but it's just against their rules. Do I well, think people that's are that's illegal though? Against in their rules, it can't be illegal. Illegal yeah, is it's a not law. Illegal, but it's like I'm sure it's not they, illegal. They don't have no contract written up. No. Oh well, yeah, you're it's right. It's not illegal. I'm sure it's against their rules. Not illegal. Right. Illegal means you can go to jail if you did it. I'm sure that's not. So that that makes it even worse. So <laughs> some mice, but so, I think it would get your child kicked out of yeah, the. That's, that's you know what I'm saying? But how would they know though? People post stuff. Yeah, that's the so, fucking problem. So look, 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 look. Stop posting shit all the time. Look, this is the this is the world we live in. So yeah, well, you, listen, you, you better. If you let's say let's say right now I made a sale with you know these cookies, more than likely somebody's gonna say I got my Girl Scouts. The, no, not even that. I'm the first one to get Girl Scouts, and y'all didn't. Mm, yeah. People so too. then it's going back. They're going to do. Yeah. They're going to do the backtrack. Oh, yeah. who's that person's friends with? Oh, all right. So that person know that. So person, that what about person. the hush mouth person though? No, they ain't going to say nothing though. That's buying a bunch of. Maybe they I buying. Mean, they buying boxes I mean, of the shit. Right. I mean, at that point, yeah, it don't matter. At that yeah, point, at I'm that sure. point, it don't matter. But it's like it really all depends. Yeah. Right. About integrity, I guess. At that point. Absolutely. It's always going to be about said, that. <laughs> yeah. That's what the fuck. Yeah. I'm not all right, but go ahead though. You you ain't you've done your week. Huh. You went on the tangent. Yeah, again. You did. You did. Oh, uh, oh shit. <laughs> back to my notes. Forty real minutes quick. in. I, how many? All right. How many minutes? Forty. Oh, uh, real quick. God all right. damn. It was my, this mine's supposed to be a subject though. So are you done your week? And you want you want to bring up something? My week was cool. Um, I'm here. I'm alive. I woke up every day. All praise to God. Talk about um, your chicken, real quick. <laughs> chicken. Yeah, you guys talk about the, yo uh, sweet treats. Over there on Main Street in Smyrna. Listen, I would have never thought. I don't know what Smyrna Smyrna's about, but it's it's a historic land, a historic spot in Delaware. For when I get from it, um, for, for those of you that are from Philly, I'm privileged drinkers, Darby, baby. Uh, Delaware County, certain areas, it kind of looks like that. But anyway, um, what intrigued me was. The fact of not how often they brought out the sweet treats company, um, brought out the the, uh, the fried chicken and waffles, but the wings, how big they were, and how golden, golden that's not even word, goldenly crisp they were. Like how go- they were so beautiful and golden. They had to, like, what do you call it when you double dip or you double fry? They might have had a, they might have double fried that chicken. Couple, know, like they, they like they, no no I'm sorry not double fried they 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 double battered it like they 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 flour egg flour egg and all that mm. they might put some cornmeal on that shit whatever they did to it probably buttermilked it yeah. but they, uh, yeah they they might have uh, yeah, let it marinate crispy. buttermilk for yes. sure because yeah yeah they, they did the, the pool on chicken was just oh, I don't in your mouth they were definitely um good. but anyway yeah they were good the wings were good they um. Were good. I, I, didn't, I, I normally like I'm privileged drinkers baby <laughs> They were seasoned well I didn't put any pepper on it Like cause it was over a waffle So I just Like It just It looked like That's what I need to have Yeah For my brunch This uh This, this Sunday afternoon Um It just looked like Listen I eat chicken and waffles All the time You know Uh And I would say it's a breakfast staple Of mine's I mean not breakfast But brunch staple um, but not everybody knows how to cook chicken and waffles For sure. properly. And I believe that the way Sweet Treats, I don't know, the owner, CEO, manager, whatever, 
the way they presented it and the way they, they, they cooked that, that chicken, it was made with love. Like it wasn't just chicken that was just fried and looked like, you know, just edible. So you brought out to you, no. It was the presentation was on point with the powdered sugar on top of the chicken, even though fucking uh no Graham didn't get any powdered sugar <laughs> on his. But thankfully, he didn't like he don't like powdered sugar on his chicken. Me? Eh, fuck it, right, whatever. Do you do you think they used a the, uh, a waffle maker? I don't think they did. It looked. It looked. Uh, they, they were thin. They yeah, weren't like real. real. Thin. They, you know the, the thick, uh, waffle uh, makers. They so where do they get the indentation from on the waffles? The what? And then the indentation. They they probably had like a little sleek waffle. Maybe maker. they got a smaller one. Maybe I I don't know. Because there's no way to get the squares as perfect as that without the type, without the type of press on. I didn't on really the look at them. I, it, that, <laughs> excuse me. The. Uh, um, the way the way you're you know talking about the chicken, they, you're you're not you're not lying. The shit the shit was definitely good. It was real real good. I recommend. I just recommend, I recommend give us people, four instead I of three. I recommend people going there. <laughs> I will say this though, I'm not a big brunch or breakfast person for real for real. So the one thing I did want they didn't I didn't see it. I wanted some fish and grits so bad. Mm. But they had shrimp and grits. I don't eat shrimp. I, I know you, but that's weird though. You'd have had to get some black and black and fish over top of the, over the top. I, I don't know why I love fish and grits mm. with some cheese eggs. That I, I and I feel as though they would do that perfectly. They probably, probably would. Probably something that need to probably be incorporated. Probably yeah. make an uh, inquiry about. I wanted yeah. some fish and grits so bad, and it was just like Man, it was kind of oh. like a damper, like a damper for me. Like, and it's just like. It was just overall, I think, a great experience. No, it, no, it was. I'm no, not, no, I'm, it was not, I'm not trying funny. to downplay. Definitely funny. I'm not good, trying yeah. to downplay the experience or none of that. Like it was, it was definitely good. I recommend a lot of people if they're in Schmerner to check, to check it out. You know, the off of was, Dupont. The thanks, was, Dupont. North Dupont. The drinks 13. were good. Um, the service was good. Everyone was real nice. Mm -hmm. um, you say hospitable, right? Hospitable for sure. Yes, very hospitable. Uh, very, very hospitable. Um, welcoming. Yep. I don't know, like I don't know if I don't know if that was the owner or the manager, or top, the top dog, whatever. She was, she was, she was coming. Yeah, back she created the menu. Couple. She made sure the we woman was that taken created the menu. She, no, yeah. she said she created the menu. Yeah, because so, I asked her about the chicken, the chicken and waffles yeah, she versus sure everything else. She said everything's hey, great. That's it what was, that. It was definitely good. Definitely, definitely um, a great experience. And um, like I said, I, I recommend that. I recommend it for people who like brunch and. And things of that nature, especially on a Sunday, because they said Sundays is always popping. They can make reservations and all that. So, yeah. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring up a topic. Um, th th this is very interesting. I'll put my notes and uh, it's a topic of discussion because. Okay. Right, I'm privileged drinkers. And we're, we're, I'm not gonna bring up anything as far as our, our our circle is concerned that, excuse me, we all can't relate to. So, okay, all right. What athlete? Made you fall in love with sports and why? Fall in love with sports or your team? You are talking about all what, sports or just a start sport? having you watch sports? Like just fall in love with sports? Because I, I know mine. But athlete? like, what, what what athlete made you fall in love with sports? What athlete made you fall in love with sports and why? Because you, I can't say all sports, but certain sports. Just make, like, I can, see, that, that's how I can do. I can't right. say it made me want to. One person did play football. I wanted to watch basketball. No, I just no. Right, but right, made right. you start having somebody had to make uh, like get you on the pathway to loving sports the way that you love it today. What one person? Just a person. Well, one person. I know my person. Well, all right. go ahead. I feel like no, but it, I got no. Nah, I feel like I know, but I know mine's. You y'all want me to go? Yeah, you can go ahead. Um, it, for me, it had to be Michael Jordan. Mm. Like I didn't really see much of him. I just heard so much, so many stories about him. Like, mind you, I'm born in '89, so I'm not far off. But little young pup, just shut up. <laughs> just you know the stories you hear about him and how he just took over the '90s and like shit. Even to this day, this man sneakers just like it's everywhere, and <coughs> he's he's just he's such an iconic figure. Like you got people who say football players are the Michael Jordan of that sport, right. and, and you're you're the Michael Jordan of hockey and stuff like that. Like yeah. it it Michael Jordan is that guy that's like to me, that was like, yeah, he's he's a reason why I want to watch sports. Right. Okay. 
I mean, I'll go. Um, I would say for me, it would be Allen Iverson. When I seen oh, Iverson, uh, get, when I was seeing him when he got drafted and started playing ball, like, you know, came got drafted by the Sixers, number one overall pick in 96. Ever since he came, I was like, damn, I really love the, love the game mm. of basketball because of him. You know, so I would say Iverson for me. Like, Iverson definitely was top tier for me for a long time until, you know, eventually everything else happened. But, you know, that's who my person was. Philly niggas getting fist fights over Iverson. They, <laughs> Never yeah, met him to this in day. Life. <laughs> to this he day. He definitely was a bull. You would think he's from Philly the way we fight over him. For sure. Yeah. He definitely was a bull. Um, I would say probably the same. Uh, Michael Jordan is iconic for me um it's hard to to fully say that because my dad is a big basketball fan right so i was taken to basketball games very very early you know i mean we have if you're from philly and you know we used to be the trolleys we would take um to get to the games and shit like that so i've been to games i've seen my new bowl play in person i've seen charles barkley play in person so i was a i was a basketball fan by like just default you know what i'm saying that was my like the sport that i followed because my dad is a heavy basketball fan and he named me after maurice cheeks so basketball was doing those things but when you see and hear about a player as great as michael jordan it's hard to ignore so it makes you pay attention just that much more it's kind of like how these kids are with the lebrons and steps of, of this of this generation and caliber because yeah. These are guys who transcend the game. They're not just basketball players. They're like literal stars. You know what I'm saying? So they, they're in movies. They have sneakers and they're everywhere. It's like you can't look or, or, or be. They're, they're synonymous with anything that you can think of as far as entertainment goes. But Michael Jordan is, and to this day, I think still the greatest basketball player that's ever played. I know that's arguable, um, argued um, between like, you know, the Wilts and the. Uh, Kareem's. Kareem's, Bill Russell's, Magic's, LeBron, Steph's, uh, and people kind of like argue these Kobe's, and and that's fine. I don't have a, pro- I really truly do not have a problem with that. But to me, Michael Jordan just is different. You know what I'm saying? MJ is your airness. It's just something about him that I believe that no matter who he would have played, no matter how big, no matter how um, whatever you want to say, because you know they say LeBron wouldn't have been able to handle him because he's six eight two this to the. I just think that Jordan has something in him that's different than, than most athletes where he likes to compete. That will to win. Yeah, yeah. And the fact that he wants to compete, the will to that's win. what I love about the sport mm-hmm. when he was there. There was a competitiveness that we may be cool off the court, but while we playing ball, I'm not your friend. I'm, look, bro, not step to bro, the side. Not my friend. You know like what I'm saying? That, yeah. And that's what I love about the sport at that point. Now, today, I don't think it's as – competitive i think people kind of lay down and they do a lot of the other shit Mm -hmm. but that's why i love football so much because you don't have that time it's not 82 games for you to bullshit half the season and then say let's pick it up after the all-star break football is different and that's where my love for football comes in because it's more competitive and the passion is always there you can see it from just a sack you know what i'm saying like Unique, like they be too hype after one little. I'm like, that's what you're up. It's, it's, it's energy into that. You know what I'm saying? Jesus, world class. <laughs> yeah, glad yeah, I need that. Here. I love that though. You know what I'm saying? That's what makes me want to watch it more because you can tell the, that's the level of excitement. So yeah, it's definitely Michael Jordan for me without question. The one person I think of before before you go, uh, Trey. The one person I always think of when it comes to intensity and passion is fucking TJ. Mm. Yeah, that is a passion. Imagine he played football. Jesus. Shout out to my brother T. That, yeah, shout hey, out to T. Him. No what sports T-O? show. T. O. Them them guys, man. Listen, but that T. J. Man, we can plug them though. So yeah, shout out to them. It's uh talking through experience. Um, you can go follow them on Instagram and Facebook. They also have a YouTube page. Um, they're gonna start. They're gonna start trying to go like live. I think on Fridays, if I'm not mistaken. So definitely tune in, follow them, subscribe to their page because they're gonna be active. So do that. Funny. Yeah. Funny. Funny and, and good, good, good conversation and good content. And they, they don't fans. believe in us. Right. Yeah, and they Eagle fans. Is, and they Eagle fans. Them. That is a passionate dude. And I think I could talk. I could talk sports with both of them, honestly. Yeah. It's like it's, it's a good conversation. Y'all might not agree on certain things, but it's it's like I'm not going to say they don't know their stuff. Like they 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 tuned in. Like they know they know their sports. So 
it's 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 cool. But when, like I said, when it come to passion, dog, I don't know anybody that's that's worse than him. Yeah. I don't think he I can disagree. Like, so, he, he Sugar Shane, like, let's go, Shane. Yeah, he, he he brings it to a whole nother level, and it's like, damn, dog. Like even after years of being heartbroken and shit like that, when it come to come to him and never the Eagles, never this waver. Oh man, he doesn't change one fucking. That's, bit, that's the dog. bad part. Wait, man, one man, iota. <laughs> yo, bad part. Oh, We're man. emotionally invested into the game of football, like right. Like, Even we'll got never tattoo. not watch football. He, he got the tattoo of the Eagles, right? Right. And what's yeah, crazy is he like all the sports, but ain't nothing like his Eagles. Nothing like his Eagles. All right. Well, go ahead, Cap. Yeah. Tell, tell so, us so Miles, I'm going to be answer. quick. You know what I mean? Uh, my favorite player of all time is Emmitt Smith, <laughs> uh, Hall of Fame running back for the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, um, I always wanted to play running back. Um, I actually had a little experience, little league and in high school. Um, I was always into doing anything rough. Um, my brother used to box. Um, my, my dad went as far as playing D suit football um, for IUP. Um, it was just already embedded in me um, to do something like with sports. Um, that you know, Emma Smith, like I said, I always like from playing Madden, like little halfback tall. So I remember playing Madden from Madden '92. Um, and that's that's why he he's my favorite player. Like he he just like I listen. I would just love to meet the guy, man. Like you know what I mean. Um, I always wanted to be like him as a kid, um, and and I still like admire that guy, man, as an adult. And uh, that, that, you know that's why that's that's my favorite player of all time. Like being being a running back running back in the NFL. Um, of course, I'm sitting here with these guys, um, but you know, blessed nonetheless. <laughs> That's my that's that's my that's the reason why I started watching sports. Emma Smith, twenty two, Florida Gators. For sure. For sure. I mean, yeah, I you know, I think even if you're not a Cowboys fan, you can respect what he's done. I know some people don't. And the reason why they don't because they say the, he had one of the best yeah, offensive yeah. lines ever. Whereas great, though, great wall of dots. I think that they had a, a a really good offensive line. I'm not going to say that they didn't, but I know that there was better ones. I think that people try to diminish his talent when they say that though. So that's why I don't like that mm-hmm. that statement because it's like, oh yeah, one of the best lines ever. Well, he did. He had a really great line. Yeah, he did. But they weren't all Hall of Famers either though. Uh, Let's not make it seem Mark like that. Not a Hall yeah, of that's what I'm saying. So they, they but that's why I, I don't take that. Compliment as a backhanded compliment. Yes, it is, what it backhand, is. Yeah. Because they're trying to say it to diminish who he is. Like, bro, like he still was running for those yards even after those dudes retired, got hurt for injuries, and all that kind of shit. So he still was doing it. So it's like he broke the record on what the Seahawks, I think. Yeah, he did. I say, like, you can't you can't diminish him, even though they were able Play to block for him and this and that, he still gotta get through where yeah. they opens up you for still, him. You like, have that vision. Right. Yeah, but that's he, what I'm saying. That that's that's to me, it's a slight bit of hate. It's a backhanded yeah, compliment. It is. For people to say certain things and you be like, What? You're trying, like, to, you play, know? You're trying to play him on a low. Yeah, yeah, he yeah, wasn't that's always the, the biggest, nor the fastest, nor the strongest. But what's the one thing that he can say? Is durability though. Yeah. Yeah. To play Five, that position. Nine, two, oh, don't miss games. I, yeah, and I you gotta think in those times. The the league was a running league. Appreciate it. Two, two, so you got a little, you got hit way more. You know what I'm saying? Going up the, the one game, remember he played with a dislocated shoulder. So it's like he had the toughness. You know what I'm saying? He had the availability. So you can't knock him nah. because they built a team in front of him. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just certain things that I know that I've, I've heard over the years where people just try to like throw him a backhand to Colin. It's like great. I'm not taking nothing away from Barry Sanders. Barry Sanders is, is is was spectacular. You know what I'm saying? He was a one of a kind. Yeah. The closest thing I think we've probably seen to him, maybe Shady. You know what I'm saying? It, it might be that might be the closest thing where you juking somebody literally out of their yeah, socks yeah. and embarrassing. Yeah, yeah, and Shady taking shit. He, he did it to the crib. Yeah, yeah, and taking shit to the fucking crib. Where you like, damn, that should have been a five yard loss. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. That's probably the closest thing I'm trying to think of, like as far as really shaking big shit. That and just, I don't know. I see LT shake some motherfuckers. Yeah, but she, yeah, I don't, he did it, but it wasn't like that. Like, it, wasn't it was quick. different. His yo. shit was smooth. Like yeah, it was yeah. smooth. He smooth. might have had more of a sweetness smooth. type yeah. of thing. His shit, his shit was smooth. more smooth. Yeah, Harry shit, and this is just his shit was nasty highlights. His shit was embarrassing. Yeah, his shit was nasty. Man, he would yo. embarrass you just by because <laughs> I feel like. Getting ran over is embarrassing. He didn't even do that. Do that, he right. Just, 
He would, you, he would make a move. And after right. that move, low center grab. Right, you're you, fifteen yards. All you gotta do is Google him. The first joint will probably come up is when he spent. I think it was somebody from the Cowboys. He spit them the fuck around, and he didn't even know he went past them. Yes, it's yeah. like bro, like the nigga, he just start, stop, hey, stop, uh, and just take off. So it's like you gotta understand that um, everybody has their own skill set. And granted, we don't know where he would have done had he not retired right. so soon, but. At the end of the day, I just, like I said, I'm only bringing this up because you, you brought up <laughs> Emmitt Smith, and I know that a lot of people, anybody could have ran behind that. Like, no, let's no, pause. No. Let's pause. No, and even what we were saying uh, before, when we were talking about, like, players, like, oh, man, they ass, this, that, and the fourth. Like I said, we, we could hold ourselves accountable for that because I think today, especially we live here in Philadelphia, and over the last, let's say, 20-plus years, the – the Eagles are considered a winning organization. You know what I mean? They're a team that True. is competitive. They're a team that's been to the NFC Championship uh, quite a few times. The They've been in they won the win division on and off. They were the last ones who won it back to back, if you count uh, the NFC East. On top of the fact they've been to two Super Bowls and won one. So in this in city, place. I think people have gotten accustomed to the winning, not realizing how hard it is. And if you go pre Donovan McNabb, there was a struggle. You see what I'm saying? Rodney Pete. Corey right. Detmer, Bobby Horn. All right, all right, all right. right. We all got to go through the names, so then we got to go through the name with y'all. So we're not going to do that. Wasn't one of them Bobby Brister? We're not going to do that. I don't do think that. they had Bobby <laughs> Brister. Not not, if they did, I don't remember Bobby Brister. We're not going to do that. We're going Playing to, for the Eagles. We're just going to keep I mean, because Brian, all that, they had Dougie Randall. Dougie P, on. Kai Detmer. Uh, yeah. First off, first off, he's not Dougie P anymore. <laughs> Doug Peterson. He's not Dougie. Right. He's not Doug he Peterson. He calling him the other You mother. fucking go. What's his name, Joey? Dougie P. God damn, dog. <laughs> he fucked it, up. fucked it up. Just like your dad, man. Dougie Fresh, um, I'm Dougie sorry, fresh with a baby. fucking PH. Oh, my especially God. Especially off of yesterday. Dougie motherfucking Fresh oh with I mean, T goddamn law. So, you know what? Let's just jump into the sports shit. Like, there's no way to avoid it. It's a fucking super uh, wild card week, and we might as well do it, right? So, just because you said that, we might as well talk about it, right? Doug Peterson was not a good player, per se. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. When he comes to playing so football. So, it's them backups with the brains. John Kittner, too. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's nitpicking now. Yeah. But Doug Peterson has shown that he is a coach to be reckoned with. Now, Thanks. granted, this is coming from the Andy Reid tree. Yeah. So Andy Reid has has a pension of you know throwing the ball too much. Which this man went out there and threw four interceptions. Mm -hmm. Trevor Lawrence started the game with, like with two, three, three interceptions in the first quarter. So and they still won the game. So. They have a formula to winning. You know what I'm saying? Like we started, Andy Reed, we started having a game night. Yeah, Andy Reid took his team to the motherfucking NFC Championship three times, then went to the Super Bowl. So you can say all you want about the pass and others, all this stuff. He still won a championship with Mahomes with the same exact formula. They don't have like those running backs that's like you know what I mean. Those those top three, four, five guys. He just yeah. got guys. He just got guys. Right? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Even this year, if you look at the Chiefs, he got Jags literally. Yeah. You know what I mean? But Dougie P deserves credit. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I still don't understand how, you know, the Eagles let him go and whatever that was about. I, I still don't we'll get. Never that. find out until a book he, is or yeah, a book yeah. is released and all that shit. That Doug. makes no yeah. sense. You know what I mean? This guy brings you the first championship, and you, fire and, him, you know, you fire him. Like, I, weird shit, but okay. like, like, whatever. Weird. Denny but, Green got an extended. Remember Denny Green? Denny Green. Right. Dennis Green. Who? Denny, Denny Green. Dennis Green. Yeah. For the coach, I'm up. Yeah, the Vikings. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He was there for a while. Yeah, yeah. damn. When like what's that for the Eagles? Nine. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Let me see because I remember which Rich Kotite was like the end of like the oh, early the Vikings. When he, when he was the Vikings. Then right. the Black. I know, but what you talking about though? Like. He was there for a while, so he had some suspect seasons. Like they ain't never let him go. Oh, 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 oh all right. I think talking you're talking about, about he was with, okay. Yeah, yeah. So as far as like longevity as a head coach, some but it, some it, people you, you overextend obviously know that, that overextend they stay. But see, that can't be the case with him. He had just won a Super Bowl, so with him, I, we don't we we literally don't I'm, know. And before he won that bowl, what was he? Before they won that bowl, he was with y'all what two three years? Oh, Dougie P. No, it couldn't no, have even it been that long. Second year. It couldn't he even been that long. Cause remember what you call him was there before that. We want the, the one who blew the team up. What's the ball? Chip Kelly. Yes. Chip. Yes. Chip. Yeah. Oh, Chip, Chip was there Chip before was that. Ball? Negative. No, he didn't like Chip. Negative. But Chip. I'll say the ones who didn't. Him if and not Darryl for Chip, y'all like probably wouldn't win. Y'all wouldn't win. Because he appreciate, blew that fucking team up. I appreciate Chip, but in a in the sense of he fucked it up for us to be good. Yep. Yep. 
In Absolutely. For, and, and if he didn't do what he did, we would not have been what we were. Right. Was, uh, Doug, Doug and... And you know uh, why Howard Roseman had to get that shit right. And you know why though, because y'all had a core nucleus though. It yeah. was like you got a shady, yeah. you got a back when you got a Deshaun, so you got Vic. Yeah, so crazy. it was like you got a team for shit, real. So, y'all had Trent Cole. Yeah, so it was like uh, he got rid of those dudes, and then it was like you're forced to do one. one by one. Oh wait, year after year. Well, did he have was was yeah, Cobb? It, was year after year. it wasn't Cobb. It was Vic, right? It was Cobb, Cobb first. No, 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 no. His first year. No, it's Cobb first. No, 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 no. His first year. It was um no Cobb was with Andy. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Vic, that, that was Vic, the Kurt, was, Kevin Curtis Vic, shit and all that. It was Vic. Vic ah. No, no, no. It was Vic and uh Foles the, first. Then that's yeah. Then it was yeah. Nick right. Foles. Nick Foles got hurt. Right, of course. That's that's what that's his yeah, MO though, at this came point. In. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was Cobb when y'all played against Green Bay. That was Andy, one of Andy last year's, I think. Was, yeah, I, I don't remember. That was Kevin yeah, Cobb. I remember, I remember that. Kevin that, was, that was Kevin Cobb. Slop. It could have been. I, I thought I he. Think, I thought he was a, like a like a uh, a mix over from the old regime into the new one, but I'm not sure. But we no, know that was Andy Reid. I know. It well, did, yeah, yeah, that was Andy had Reed. Andy, but it was Kevin Cobb and and Vic. But we talking about Chippewa. Yeah, yeah, well, Chip, Chip. Yeah, when that, yeah, that. Chip, we're talking about Chippewa. Chip it was had, it was Vic and um Foles. Foles okay. Yes. All right. Well, I mean, either way, I just don't see how you get rid of a coach who won you your first Super Bowl, and that was y'all been y'all been around for fucking almost a hundred years, damn near. And the fact that y'all got championships, but in the modern era, you don't have Super Bowls. He wins you a Super Bowl in that 2017, is it 2017, 2018 season? Got fired season? in 19. And got fired the next year. And then you get rid of everybody else in between there. It's yeah, like man, you know, had some old pieces, hurt the Holly Long. Oh yeah, uh, then you had Legarrette Blunt and uh, what's the other boy with no need? Ajayi. Blunt. Jay, 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 from the other. Jay. Um, yeah, some pieces. Office. They put a lot of like stock into to, to winning. So it just, I don't understand it. But credit goes to Dougie P. I think that he fresh. He um he's shown that no matter what it is, whatever talent he's going to make that shit work. Because last year we saw what we saw from the Jaguars with Urban Meyer, and it was, it was not good at all. Now, granted, they did get Christian Kirk. They got Zay Jones. Um, Evan Ingram, ETN is healthy, they so they have really more pieces. Yeah. But you still got to be able to make that shit yeah, come Miles together. Right. <coughs> yeah. So the fact that they was able to come back, you know, I feel bad for Herbert. I do like Herbert. I think he's one of those. He's in that tier of the next greats. I think, but he ain't he ain't do shit in that second half, man. I will. I will. I don't this. blame him solely because the defense gave up the points. I but think, I think. All, all, all the turnovers that happened in that game from them, they lost momentum in the second half because it was, they. Yeah. I think they they missed Mike Williams. They got comfortable. Sure. They missed Mike Williams. I think Mike Williams probably helped out. And yeah. also, Austin Eckler only had six touches yeah. in the second half of that game. Yeah, they, they That's they not they good. But that you know their problem is they don't have a power run game either. Though no. it's more of the screen shit, yeah. misdirection bullshit. Yeah. They don't run that shit straight at you and That's tire that, you that, out that, and wear if, you down. If Zeke don't play us next year, they could benefit from Zeke. Oh, for sure, for sure. Anybody could like Zeke, Zeke is not yeah. the same player, but he could still lean on you yeah, and get yeah, an extra two, three yards. That, that, yeah, he can lean lower that shoulder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and push you back. So, I guess we can, like I said, I guess we can talk about the season and, and, and um, how it turned out and what was the expectations. Mm. Um, we obviously, Dirt is not here, but Rel is the Eagles fan, as he stated. Um, obviously, you know, me and, and Dre are Cowboy fans. Pooty is a uh, Raiders fan. I hurt Raiders fan. Um, <laughs> I will say, I'll start. So, I will say this, right? I had low expectations coming into the season um, for specific reasons, right? And I told TJ this the night of um, my cousin Renee's wedding. It was August 28th. I told him, y'all going to win a division. Reason being is Howie has been way more aggressive in trying to win than put asses in seats. Mm. And it's been shown over years of the year. So if you go out and get an A.J. Brown for the low, we ain't talking about like these crazy ass like two and three like motherfuckers getting traded for two and three first round picks. That's absurd. What did you give up for? They gave the the star, one of our first round picks, and that was and it was something else, right? No, no, it was the first round pick, and I think another pick. I think it was two picks, yeah, like a first and a third or a first and fourth, whatever it was. Pennies for a for a dude like that. 
who's legitimately a thousand yard receiver. Game changer. Pro bowler. Right. Period. You need a, you need somebody outside of Devontae Smith who's a Heisman Trophy winner. I'm gonna give you AJ Brown. That's right. Charlie Gardner Johnson from the Saints. That was a late one. I think yeah. that was like right, right before, before the season. season. Yeah. You get somebody to pair up uh, with this dude you already got back there with a Darius Slate, who's obviously one of the top two, three uh, corners in the league. Um, who else? Uh, picked up Brad Bear. Brad, uh, Brad, uh, Brad Bear. And now Brad Bear, now me, mind you, I am not a Brad Bear fan. I'm not. But I think if you pair him up, if he's not your number one guy and you just want him to tackle, cover a little bit, and you got somebody playing behind him, I think he does well. He's not great by any standards, but it's still it's just a piece that – was lacking from the year before because who was y'all starting corner last year? Steven Nelson. <laughs> exactly. Oh, and man. I remember people being hyped. I'm like, bro, he's he's not good. Like, I don't even know what we're talking about. He okay. played for the Bills. The Bills had a great pass rush with a lot of talent in that secondary that, that helped him out. But here nor there. The Steelers. Yeah, huh? He came from the Steelers. Steven Nelson? I thought he played for the Bills. No, Steven Nelson came from the Steelers. He, came from the Steelers. he never played for the Bills? I don't know if he didn't. Play I don't for know the if he played, but his I last know, year, I do know he played for he was the, Steelers. With the Steelers. Yeah, before they got him. All right, well, yeah, I but he, Nelson he's, in Buffalo, huh? I remember Nelson in Buffalo. Maybe it was. Bro, I, that's where I thought he came from. But either way, it's just it's just when you grab dudes like 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 I said, even with Bradbury, he's not great. Like I said, we I we play the Giants twice, and just like y'all do. I've seen him get toasted almost every time we played him. Like I've seen Amari run by him. I've seen. Uh, CD run by he's, him. What I can tell you is he's more of a zone. He's not a right. That's a why I said man. if you got somebody behind him, he can play good because he's gonna get you with the underneath shit. Mm -hmm. But man to man, no. Texas toast. Yeah, he's not a Every man. Time. toast. And if you but, like butter and garlic on it, he'll get that too. Right. <laughs> but no, I, I'm just saying. Like I said, I'm, I'm bringing up this stuff just to say the aggressiveness going into the off season or coming right. out of the off season to let you know that I'm willing to put the pieces in front of you. Now you have to go and make this shit work. Right. I appreciate that shit because that used to be an aggression that the Cowboys used to use. They no longer operate within that same fashion. It's more of a, I'm a draft, the best players that are available at the, at that time, and you do what you want. And I'm going to specifically go back to my team and going into that, going into the season. We drafted Tyler Smith. I didn't know much about Tyler Smith coming out of Tulsa. I didn't. I think most, just like most people didn't. So it was kind of like, I felt like that was a counter to y'all drafting Jordan Davis. Like, these are two big dudes. You need somebody in the trenches. And originally, he was supposed to play guard. He was going to have Tyron Smith at left tackle. He was going to play left guard. That didn't happen. Obviously, Tyron Smith tore his uh, hamstring off the bone. He he just started playing, I think, maybe against y'all. I'm not even sure. Yeah, that was his first game against the Eagles. Right, and they put him at right tackle because Tyler Smith has been doing that well at left tackle. So when you pair that with the fact that we traded Amari Cooper, a 1,000-yard receiver, 10, 9, 10 touchdowns a year, it's like, who's playing on the other side of him? We know Gallup is coming off of, a, of an ACL, so you know he's not going to be ready. Mm -hmm. But y'all willing to pay him $15 million, I think you're getting $15 million a year or something like that. How? Like what? what Where's like, he coming from? Yeah. So going into the first game of the season, we was at Drake Crib. If everybody remembers, um, we played the Bucks, and they played like shit. You had C.D. Lamb and the replacements. <laughs> you know what I mean, they had somebody named Dennis Houston, who's an undrafted free agent, who they was starting. Like you know what I mean? Like it was C.D. Lamb, Dennis Houston, and Noah Brown. Like what the fuck are we talking about here? With a rookie left tackle. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just, it was shit. It was a shit show. The bright spot is the defense. Mm -hmm. Dan Quinn has been masterful with how he's worked this defense. The last two years, we've led the league in takeaways. How? I have no idea because if you've been a Cowboy fan for at least, I'm going to just say the last 20, 25 years, you've never seen us get the ball the way we have the last two years. Like, never. Ever. Mm. Yeah, not Ever. So all the Terrence, uh, what was his name? Damn, I forgot his name. T. Uh, Terrence Newman. Terrence Newman. <laughs> T. New. I'm about to call him Terrence Williams. T. Newman. T. New with the fucking uh, Roy Williams and Demarcus Ware. All that we've never ever led the league in turnovers. So the fact that we've been able to do it, I'm cool. The fact that we've been able to do that, it's cool. And they've they've shown me that they can draft well. So with that being said. 
I still had little expectations going into the season, and I was just more of, of a, we'll see what happens. Now, granted, we could see in hindsight now that we won 12 games. Uh, we did have uh, Dak miss five of those 12. I mean, of the, uh, well, he lost the first game. Uh, you got He started that game, so you got to give him that L. But we lost him for five games in between time. Now, we did beat the Bengals, I think, with the Bears, I think. It was a few oh, teams. Yeah, he, played, yeah. he played with against the Bears. That might have been his game back. No, he came back against the Lions, right? Yeah. So yeah, it, it's a few games. I, I know. I know that the backup Cooper Rush beat Four the Bengals. Um, Bengals Giants. He beat Houston. No, that, that we just did that. Bengals Giants. Giants for sure. Washington? Yes. No. The first time. I think he did be Washington. Who uh, Cooper Rush? Yeah, I think Cooper beat Washington. Yeah, I, I'm not sure, but um, I, 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 the, the two I know is the Bengals and the Giants because y'all was on Monday night when y'all played the uh, Giants. I remember that game. Right, um, but it, it, like I said, either way, like I said, I had low expectations coming into the season, so I am surprised that we won the games that we won, especially without our starting quarterback. And then, you know, it was a bunch of talk. If if you guys aren't paying attention to the NFL. Of the Cowboys signing Odell. Odell's actually coming off his second ACL surgery. So it's like he hadn't played football all year. So that was just like a big story that happened over the course of a couple of weeks. But it never, nothing ever happened with it because at the end of the never day, he, re- he he couldn't run. He couldn't show you what he could do. He's like, I could be ready for the playoffs. But it's like, we need the playoffs in a couple now. of weeks. I need you to run now. Show you me just something. To collect the check. Right. So we wound up I grabbing T.Y. Hilton. And while T.Y. Hilton is going to be, I told people from the game, I said, well, we don't need him to make. 10 and 12, 13 plays. He literally just needs to make one or two plays a game, one, which he's splash, been doing. A splash play. You know what I'm saying? So it's like CD still needs that other receiver to help out. Now, hopefully they drafted t- Jalen Tobert in the third round out of uh, Southern Alabama. We'll see what happens with that come next year because he didn't no Are burn this year. Be? But that was my – my expectation was definitely low. I had like maybe we can win 10, 11 games because I thought the division would be weaker. But as you can see, that wasn't the case. Division was strong. Almost all the damn teams made the shit. So, oh shit, my bad. Get the blue one. I'm looking at him like. I want the blue one? Let me get the blue one. Yeah, I, I matter of fact, yeah, I had I had I, the big wave recently. But, um, what did what did you think uh, coming into this uh, season for your team, bro? For the Eagles, um, I remember talking to TJ because TJ he always called me the voice of reason because he kind of get a little hyper, but I always try to talk him down like yo, like let's be a little bit realistic here, yada yada yada. For me, I was saying, like, I could see us probably getting, like, at least two extra wins because last year we were nine and eight. Mm. And I was like, with the addition of A.J. Brown, I was saying, like, I was like, we probably get, like, at least 10 or 11 because I was thinking that uh, – I didn't think that Jalen Hurts would be – the play the way that he's played this season because last year he struggled a lot uh, throwing the ball – and he ran a lot more last year, but this year he didn't run that much, and he he threw a lot a lot of passes this year. And I kind of it was a major major upgrade from getting AJ Brown in, in on the team mm-hmm. instead of everybody focusing on Devontae Smith because everybody knew who was the number one guy, and that was Devontae Smith last year. This year you can't really say for sure yeah. who was the number one guy, even though. Uh, AJ Brown was able to get the most touchdown passes, mm-hmm. but a I mean, but Devontae Smith was able to get the most catches this year, even though he ain't have a catch in the first game of the year, which is crazy for him to end up having the right. most catches for the team, which is wild. And um, you know, I I was it was very unexpected to see them finish with the best record in the league, you know. Um a lot of people had a lot of say about, oh, they played this kind of teams and that kind of thing. I'm like, yo, man, like you can't right. discount that because you have to win the game. Still, you can't say that they ain't, they ain't play a hard team. They hard teams. It don't matter. You gotta win, for sure. You know, it's easy for us to say because we're not playing. Exactly, I say shit all the time. The though they play the game, so you can't say, well, they played the easy. No, 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 no. It's been teams that you would have thought that should have beat this team, but they didn't. I can give you an example. The fucking Colts and the Chiefs. Yeah. Seeing how the Colts and the Chiefs were, you'd have thought that the fucking Chiefs would have smoked them. And but that, what fuck, remember, that fucked us up in the pool. That, that, fucked, that fucked a lot of people <laughs> up in the pool, but 
they end up winning winning the fucking game. It's $50, Another one, the pool, first man. game of the year, Monday Night Football, Seahawks versus the fucking Broncos. Yeah, nobody thought that was gonna happen. Yeah. And what also happened? The fucking Seahawks go to the playoffs and the fucking Broncos is trash. I ain't think about yeah. it. Sure, yeah. Broncos so you can't ass, say fantastic. you can't yeah. say what a team might be or will be until they gotta play that shit. They gotta play that fucking game. I mean, uh, you know. So I, I would say. I would say like this year was definitely a surprise for them to finish for fourteen and three, and it was uh, I mean I, I I hope they can continue it. You know Jalen Hurts with this injury right now, it ain't looking too good. You know hopefully he can heal up and all the other injuries that's been happening to the team. But yeah man like I'm yeah. I'm I'm I'm, ex- I'm excited. I'm that's excited. a big story that like not too many people are talking about. I I forget who it was. I was watching um NBC, and he said he what the fuck. Oh, in that chair. I was about to say, come on, man. But um, I was watching NBC and I forgot who it was. They talk. It was like four of them. I, damn, I can't. I wish I would like remember who it was. But either way, they said that he was able to talk to the media. Um, and he was like, my, so, my shoulder hurt like shit or something like that. He used some language where it was like oh. they didn't want they don't want him even throwing the ball, like doing his little drill or whatever. And I'm like, is it really more than what they're saying? You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day. I saw him chuck it down the field a few times against the Giants. Now, he wasn't consistent. He, I don't think he connected with the Pets, but he did throw it at least. So, if it's that bad, do you still put him out there and hope that it don't get like worse or something like that? Or do you play the backup th- who's who hasn't been – like, the thing is he hasn't been terrible. But You know what I'm saying? He hasn't th- won games, but he hasn't been terrible. I think after what he did against the Saints, it's like, yeah, you're fucking – you're no good to us because you should have won that game. Regardless I mean, of anything, I agree. They, it's I, like you, I think nobody nobody thought y'all was like lose it was like to the Saints. You should not have played that bad against the Saints at home, and you know the importance of us clinching because you know Jalen Hurts is hurt. Right? He needed he needed an extra week to rest. You decide to go right. out there and play. That would have like been shit. an extra couple of weeks though. That but you point. came out and played like shit. It was like you're no fucking good to us. We're done with you. Good. So. Yeah, I got I the think, Island IPA. Yeah, Hana, that's what I got. Island Lager. That's all right. Um, that's the one I had. It's good. But yeah, that that was that was good. It, it, that was a good joint. Mm-hmm. Since you're speaking and you're an Eagles fan, okay. I just want to know mm-hmm. where are you at with you know your what y'all do is RPO y'all y'all fuck people over with how y'all do it because y'all have speed and you have a quarterback that will run. And I listen to 97.5. I listen to a bunch of podcasts besides ours. Unprivileged drinkers go listen to it. Um, <clears throat> a lot in the beginning, everybody's loving it. Now, I'm listening to these Eagles fans, mm-hmm. and they're pissed off. He needs to stop running the ball as much. You know, like, uh, stop calling it RPOs. But I know, and you know, even though you watch more Eagles football than I do, Eagles football than I do, he's not as effective just being a you know just a basic uh, pocket quarterback. RPOs really excel Jalen Hurts' game. That's how you guys have been somewhat. You know y'all kicked a lot of ass this year. What I can say about that is, I can go back to the game of the, the Bears game when he when uh when he got hurt. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That game plan was shit because he should not have been out there. Running that much because the Bears' defense were one of the worst. The Bears' run defense was one of the worst in the league. For him to be out there running that much, it made no sense to me. And then for him to constantly get hit after hit after hit, it was like that should be. I'm privileged drinkers, right baby. He shouldn't be running it because you see him getting hit constantly. That's so, your, that's y'all call like that. That makes y'all Eagles. Offensive game plan, but it doesn't Fly. though. It doesn't though. It, it it's a plus because he has gotten better as a passer because of the addition of AJ Brown. He's gotten better. Yeah. He just he just does it. So they the question the question that lingers now out of that game is was he was there design runs for him to do or was he checking and doing it himself? That's a question that needs to be. He got that control over the offense. What do you prefer? What do you prefer he do? I would rather him. I would rather him throw the ball because that's what you have wide receivers for. I don't want him to constantly run the ball, but if it's there, I would rather him pick up the yards than get no yards and take a sack. 
for sure. Because right. I've seen him with that RPO situation y'all do. He shook, you know, uh, Michael Parsons. One play, he 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 read run, and it was not a run. That might have been a touchdown uh, run he scored. Like, they was inside of, like, 15, I believe. One of the games he played them. Well, she only played one. But um, I seen him. I was like, well, God damn. Shook him right out his fucking side. That was, that was the one here. For me, I don't like it. Because like cause, cause what we seen. My man was lost. Because what we seen, when he when the, when the whoever that, that tackle was that fell on him, if his shoulder right. is fucked up. They, it's fucked up. With quarterbacks and, like, running backs, they just built differently. You know what I'm saying? Like. If that was a running back, they I don't know what it is. They just built differently. They probably wouldn't have hurt him, but because he's a quarterback, it's just throwing on him. Squats over six hundred pounds. You, you know what I'm saying? But again, I I agree with what you said, but I also don't watch Eagles football until they either playing us or we're together and y'all are on TV and it's like, all right, we watching it because it's there. But I don't watch that much. But what I do watch when I when I do watch, excuse me, um, the same way that it it worked for. Every other running quarterback or dual threat running because I don't label him as a running quarterback. Like I would maybe Justin Fields and Lamar Jackson, maybe a little bit Kyler, but I don't label him as as just a running quarterback. I think he has good placement with the ball. I think he he finds the open receivers. He goes through his progressions, but I do believe that the RPO is a is I'm not gonna say fifty percent. I'm gonna say maybe like maybe thirty five forty percent of the success factor and why you guys were able to win so many games because I say 45. I mean, I, 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 it, I don't it's watch no it. Percentage. It's no percentage. I don't watch them that much. I'm just saying the games that I do watch, that's what it seems like to me. Cause I don't have facts to prove anything that I'm saying. I don't have any stats to prove what I'm saying. I'm just talking about what I see with my eyes. I can tell when you get that D in the crash down and that back door opens, he's taking it. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So that's what I'm talking about. That's what happened with Micah. Right, and Watch but the thing is, with, with, with that, but what also you got Miles Sanders, mm-hmm. who's a thousand yard back this year. So he's like, you got a lot to worry about on top of right. AJ Brown, Goddard, Devontae, Quez when he want to. You know what I'm saying? Like they got weapons. Where it's like you got to be paying attention to everybody all at one time because it could be somebody that's going across so the middle do, and got her. Do, do. Take away their best, they, they best asset. Which is it's what? Not, you can't really who, What's their best asset? You can't pinpoint. That's a, good, that's a good statement, but who's the best asset? Who, who's your best asset? Their best asset right well, now. Well, I would say our Jay best Hurts. addition, our best addition this is year AJ would be A.J. Brown. But, but you who's still the best can't asset? Take away. You hey, what's can't what's take your best asset, though? It's got to be Jalen. It has to be. It's Jalen. So how do you neutralize that? You, I don't think you can. How do you neutralize him? I think the only, you, only way you do way it is you got to make him one dimensional. Yeah, make him throw. But the Redskins didn't beat him. They beat themselves essentially because yeah, too many Quez. Commanders. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're right. Commanders. He said Redskins. I'm going off of what he said. But oh, yeah. the Commanders. Quez Commodore. gave up a, a, what was it, interception? After the, Quez, after the bomb, he fumbled. Quez caught the pass. Fell. Fell down got and up. got back up and got tackled from behind and fumbled, fumbled and the me? ball. The me AJ Brown, the AJ Brown joined. He threw double the ball. Coverage. It got that, yeah, double the, uh, picked. The, the, the face uh, mask that wasn't called. Got her, and then he got hurt. He got hurt after that. So I don't I'm, think that I'm they did anything to the, stop Jalen. I'm making him pass the ball. But yeah. how though? That's the thing. You like it's easier said than done because he, at the end of the day, if he can I shake shook, you out, your, he can shake. Right. You he, it ain't off. like he a statue. He ain't. <laughs> he ain't Drew Bledsoe. Listen. They had, but look, 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 I can give you the game. The game against the Packers, they played that kind of defense, and he ended up with a hundred and what fifty some yards. Passing and 150. Y'all, that was your, them, them, y'all think y'all had with three hundred yards rushing or something yeah, like yeah. that game? That was the game we had three hundred yards rushing, but had over a, a right. Bucket and chain. If, so we had feet, if we have four, well, one healthy, something, yeah, he definitely had four, one four, four D line, and that can get after him legitly. What? And so like Mike, but it ain't even that. He just said if. Here's the thing, though. Even if you, even if you do, the if don't matter. Yeah, we don't. don't matter, and nobody just don't. Just hypothetical. Hypothetical. After a while, D linemen ain't gonna want to run you down. They like enough of this shit. They, they, you, they not right. trying to run you down. The being play chased after play after and play. actually running away from are two totally different things. You exert more energy chasing someone than you do actually running. I'm just saying, my mm-hmm. game plan. I'm the the coordinator. I'm making him. I'm I'm making him passable. Your, your game plan not going to stand up that long because. 
they going to have to run after them. They're not going to always what, get But what you're saying is you said you're going to make him pass the ball, but you're discrediting or dis, or not accounting for that they have one of the top offensive lines in the league. <laughs> It's, it's yeah, not you because he you, in disrespect you have I'm to. I'm talking about four D linemen. But then you, but who has done it? Nobody has done it all year. Like literally nobody. And they like they play well, in people sc- being hurt and you know. They played the Giants. They have a pretty decent old defensive line. They played the Reds, the Commanders. Excuse me. They have a pretty defensive line. They played the Cowboys. We have Chase a pretty Young defensive wasn't line. Wasn't there healthy and strong? He still ain't. So that, that, like, uh, we can't talk about saying. what is or what isn't. We talk about what I'm is. I'm saying get. And, well, th- that's this year. Give me four D line right. and I can get after them. So right now, uh, right now, spying one. Of them drop See, them I, drop I don't have the. I, me personally, I'm not going to take nothing away from the man. The man played amazing this year. I can't take we that away. From I ain't saying we will play see. you giving him a backhanded compliment. Yeah, he is. Nah, like, you are. You he said not, he's not. You always do. Because what you're he's, saying is, he, if, if he have, if you saying if you see four Jackson with a better with a, with, a, with a better arm. No, 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 no. no. Yeah, yeah. I no, said no, he's no. 2.0. No. Nah. he's a better thrower than. Lamar. Nah, yes, he is. It's Lamar nowhere Jackson close. Jackson only throws in the it's, middle. It's nowhere only close. Throws in yes, the middle. he is. Lamar Jackson he's and Michael Vick thrower. are are one in the same. Mm-hmm. He's what you call him is more Cam Newton, Russell Wilson ish than he is Lamar. I say he's a better pass than Lamar. He's a way All better. It's okay. not even close. Those, those comparisons make a little. Yeah, Vic, Vic and Lamar are very, very similar yeah. in the way they play football. I agree. They look I to agree. the tight end, and then that's, if the tight end is not open, they run it. Yeah. Russ, Cam, they kind of went through their progression. I mean, nobody likes the way Cam threw the ball, but he at least had a little bit of time to go one, two, he's three. A better throwing, and he's a better throwing than Cam then. Oh, for sure, he definitely is. For sure he is. Well, that's, that's but he, the realm. He and Cam Newton's territory. Cam, I'm saying he's more like Cam and Russ than he is anywhere near Lamar. Lamar well, he is runs strictly. He, I mean, Russ he, there? he doesn't. He I mean, don't, Russ though. Says, yeah. Who? He got 10 plus. Who? Uh, Jalen? Like oh, Russian touchdowns? Yeah. He got but 10 they, plus. Not a lot of them come from like 30 yards out, though. Some of them be close. He yeah. had a lot of sneaks. Sne- right, right, right. He that's what I'm saying. It wasn't like. It's about, he didn't run like. It's like right, it yards. wasn't Justin Fields oh, type touchdown. Like, yeah, it's nah, like nah, ten nah. plus ten plus rushing, and like I said, it wasn't like yeah. I'm sorry, miles. and it's not to knock he, Lamar when I'm saying what I'm saying because Lamar I think is good at what he does, but I prefer a dude. If you're going to be a dual threat, be able to really throw the ball. Yeah, and he doesn't. Lamar doesn't do that consistently consistently enough to make me a believer in his arm. So if I'm the Ravens, and that's a hot topic too that. You know, they talk about he wanted to be paid. He wanted to be fully guaranteed. He's representing himself. He went, what, $230 million or something like that or more. Can't fully guaranteed. He wanted, I think he wanted either close to what Deshaun got or a little bit more because he got the MVP, which is arguably, <laughs> argu- arguable, but Deshaun Watson actually quarterbacks the game. Yeah, he can. He hasn't done it this year because obviously he's been out the game for two years, but still, I'm, I'm not, for you, that's a lot. But I, I can't compare him to – I would never do that. I wouldn't disrespect him in that way to say that he only – Respect him? He ain't Jalen Hurts. That's disrespectful. Jalen Hurts Jalen Hurts in the MVP? He isn't, but he was in the running for it. Yeah, he, he ain't. Second, he, he, was, he ain't. I'm not I mean, saying he is, but he was in the running for it. He was in a, in a race for that shit. You're disrespectful. Yeah, but, but You're disrespectful. Gonna, I mean, he ain't going to get it. You're disrespectful. We know he's not going to get it now because he's been yeah, hurt, but it was a str- he, he made a strong case for it. Hell yeah, I'll agree you with that. You always got to come with the disrespectful shit. But he's not going to get it. It's not of respect. Of course, we know That's that. That's why I say being authentic right. and being factual. He's not. But we don't know yet. He's going to get a vote, though. I guarantee that. Oh yeah, absolutely. he's going to get a vote. He I'm not denying that, but is he going to get it? No. But no but one. I don't think nobody disputing that. Though. You talking about like, listen, damn, he almost beat his ass, and that motherfucking that that 100 yarder. But he, you know, he just came up short about about fucking half a yard. I, I mean, guess. if we go, if you're going to be real about it, like, of course, yeah. as an Eagle fan, I was looking for him to possibly How get Ali, it. But it's better than Joe Frazier. But one of Joe Frazier was one of the but, best heavyweight talkers. Pat like, Mahomes. Come on, what are you talking Mahomes. about? Mahomes. You, you, it's just like you he can't. He did really, more with less. I don't know how, but he did it. Yeah, you can't. I can't really. It'd yeah, been I good for him to possibly would've... win it, but I don't think he's going to get it off the strength of Pat Mahomes. Nah, and I'm then not his saying. Wait, he missed I'm two. If he had he not Jaylen. missed the two games, it would have been closer. Had they not lost to the Cowboys in front of everybody, I and him played that game, it's closer. But when you I miss two games, it's hard Pat to do that. Would still get it. I don't. 
Not if he would have won those two games. They would have had the best record in the league on top of the fact that his yards would have been better. Like he would have had more stats. How sports is and the way the NFL, Pat would have got it. I don't think so. I do. They really don't think Well, so. we Hold won't on. know because he didn't get an MVP. I, I, we won't know, but if we just going off of pure speculation and the way he was playing, Pat wasn't playing better than him, That's your opinion. Quick, quick. No, that's so a if fact. You got, if you, that's a fact. I, I'm just saying, I, I know. I'm just saying. Well, I mean, he wasn't playing better than him. Pat, throws the, he, Pat is turning the ball over more than he was. Okay, so if you and get, he got if you if you get total touchdowns, two hundred thousand people that think like me, and one hundred fifty thousand people of the board members think like you, then listen, but that's not the case wins. though. But that's, that's not a lot the, of MVPs that been wait, made MVP. So if you want to argue the MVP, and they, and they don't win it, but wait, you got if you want to argue the MVP, that you think should have won MVP and didn't win MVP, like. But no, I'm not going to go that far back. I'm talking about I'm the, with this. One. But no, let's talk about this since you want to bring that up, right? Make it make sense. Lamar <laughs> just won with less yards. That's fine. He was doing it at a clip that nobody ever done it at. So how can you say that he wouldn't have definitively if you if he's doing it better than a dude who just did it and won? Right. Well, dig this. Oh, Answer Jim the question. Jalen Hurts is not going to get the MVP. <laughs> it's, it's, no, no. You, <laughs> no, wait, but wait. What you just said is. was you 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 breaking up hypotheticals. What I'm just doing is I'm giving you this. I'm giving you your point to make an, a, a case against what I just stated. There's a guy who did it. At a less, less rate, yes. At throwing the ball, mm-hmm. Lamar. Who else is Lamar? I'm talking about Jaylen Lamar Hurts. versus Jalen. Where you at? Uh, why would? Why do you think that he wouldn't have won it over Pat Mahomes? When Pat Mahomes was doing, he's what he was throwing doing. the, he's turning the ball over. Are there more Pat Mahomes fans than Jalen Hurts no. fans? We're not talking no. about fans. No. We're talking saying. about the most valuable you player. Shit. You moving I'm shit. Not. When yeah, Lamar are. won MVP. Favoritism. When Will Lamar you won MVP, too? you thought that more people want Lamar to win than, than Mahomes? Never. Yeah, I don't think so. No. 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 Google. People like Mahomes. He's a they likable do. person. But so why did he win? That year they apparently liked it. Lamar Jackson more. No, he just did something no one else ever yeah. did. It was, it's That's the same. not just it. It's the same thing. Why isn't it? It's the same. It's the the not to switch, not to switch sports, but it's the same thing. Jokic and what you call him? Jokic and 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 Russell, Russell Westbrook. You do something somebody oh, never seen before. You can't Russell deny Westbrook. him. Yeah. When he won, Jokic? he won MVP. No, he I'm said one. back then. Oh, yeah, he won. No, he, he's about to say Joel from like recently, but all right. He did. He said Jokic, but not only Jokic. He said Russ. Russ won MVP because he averaged a triple triple double, double for a season. The person to do that before that was Oscar Robinson. Yeah. They so again, so some of these vote voters that literally have something to say about it are maybe biased towards one person or the other. No, it's, it's I don't think it's biased. It's just like I said, when you prove to, to people that you can do this at a at a rate for a whole season, you average a triple double or you run for how many yards did the Lamar run for? It was something crazy. He ran for damn near two thousand yards almost as a as a quarterback. So it was, at the end of the day I think it was it was something stupid. Under two thousand, it was right. like a little under two thousand, and he's thrown for a little over three thousand, I think. Right, so it was 18 that was the first that ever happened. In so history. you can't. It's almost impossible to deny someone of that. The same thing that happened with Joel last year. Mm-hmm. Jokic did something that no one's ever done before, but it was like we could give it to Joel, but we've never seen this happen. Before. Leading him to get more of a popular vote. Because it's something that's never that, been done people, before. We don't matter placing votes. We're just opinionists. And some, and some. Of course, we no one. Yeah. We don't I'm vote for MVP. I'm the ones that matter, like the people. But that I don't think you being as authentic about what you're saying as far as Jalen. Jalen has played outstanding this year. We're not going to. You can't take that, that away from. Him. But you know, he just wasn't going to get it. You can't say that. Well, he is he going to get it? He not. Try again next year. You being disrespectful, nigga. All right, yeah. well, I mean, right, next, so, like he right, didn't right, get it, it this year. That's a, I don't have no problem saying it. I really don't give you're a fuck either way or like the other he, because you're being he wasn't going to get it. I've seen I him. Get it. I I've get seen it. him you're do a it. Cowboy fan, but okay. Jalen Hurts. All right, all right, bro. All who who right, would bro. I say? Honestly, if it came down to it, I think Joe Burrow probably get a fucking MVP before Jalen Hurts will. So you think he? You, wait, hold up. So you think Joe Burrow is ahead of? He's ahead of Jalen Hurts when it comes to this. This is my year? opinion. No, this I year. Think. I think. I think he's just saying overall. I don't think he's saying this. Year. I think he's saying overall. No, no, I know that. Careers is out. I think. But I can see that though, because yeah, they I, love I, Joe though. Bro, look at look at what he's surrounded with. 
saying? Like Burrow is yeah, Burrow is I right, listen after the fantasy. I just that tell I had, you what, I, but what, what you're I what you're saying Burrow is not is factual though. You're you're talking up. You're springing up your opinion again. Happens, then what's gonna happen? You listen to look, listen. I let's go back. I'm gonna go back to which ah. I just said to you. People like Mahomes more than they like Lamar. Yet Lamar won. So you talk. You're what you talking I, about? It's popular think, vote. I don't know. I think that was equal that year, yo. It wasn't because he won. Because he won. What are you talking about? <laughs> You I, prove, you messed saying, up your own saying. point because your point no, is saying, like, as far as like, it's a popular vote, but when the the person who's more popular loses, uh, right, as far why as, would he as win? As far as us, all right, no, people we can't say us because we don't vote. <coughs> but the people that matter yeah, that year, Lamar Jackson, sure. But he's not the more popular player. He's not the face of the league. <laughs> Mahomes no, is the I face think, of the league. I think the people that matter made Mahomes the right is decision. The face of the league, hands down. The people that placed the vote, we don't place no votes. We're just. You think that they made the right decision by making uh, Lamar the MVP? Yeah. Okay. Your opinion. Your opinion. Your opinion. Right, right. You and Quick. Because if if, 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 if I'm starting my team and I'm talking about the most valuable player who I know going to make anybody better, we've and then we dealt and now we got this year to to prove that it's Mahomes. There's no question. It's Mahomes. Yeah, they lost. Marquez Valdez Scantlin. Hmm. Juju Schuster. Hmm. Kadarius Tony. <laughs> like it's a bunch of who's and what. Only one person that's still there. Kelsey. Yeah, Kelsey. He got thirteen hundred out of five thousand yards. <laughs> so um, what does that tell you? If you got thirteen hundred out of my five thousand when I just broke Breeze, that means that I can do this shit at a clip that nobody else can do it at. So it ain't got nothing to do with nothing else. When the people vote, that matter. Which we don't matter when it comes to the. But why did you keep? I think you still missing the one point. It's because he ran for that many yards as a quarterback. I'm not saying that's not. But that's what you're saying though. You keep bringing up. You like. Oh, I'm but the people that matter, we, we, I'm not we, saying that's the sole on reason. But, we, but you making it seem like we don't know that we don't have a vote in the MVP race. We know we don't vote for it. If you don't know that you don't vote for MVP, I guess you don't watch sports. <laughs> Because at the end of the day, we we you never got a, a ballot that says vote for your MVP now. It's never happened ever in life. I don't think it ever will. So that's the point. We already know that. So you're stating an obvious uh, fact that we already have the the common it's, knowledge to knowing. But the simple part that you're missing is you're saying that it's a popular vote. It's not popular because Mahomes is more popular. People know who he is more year. than they do Lamar. Every year since he's been playing quarterback at the rate that he's been playing quarterback at, there's nobody more popular at quarterback than he is. When he does these crazy I'm passes. About that year. All right. <laughs> give me some research or something. I don't have to give you research. I'm telling you, Mahomes well, has been making these wild it's passes. It's not a fact. What's not a fact? He threw for more yards than him. I know That's that. That's fine. As, far as, as, a like, quarterback, you, you, as a quarterback, isn't that the stat? The boat, is it what's the quarterback? You, what's the stats you look for as a quarterback? Just tell me. Uh, pass rate and accuracy. Touchdowns. I mean, what the fuck yeah, accuracy and fucking the rating. You're probably gonna come. What do you think? Oh, what oh. do you think? Wait, 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 wait. No, wait, 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 wait. Let me wait, just wait, wait, go ahead. Go ahead. You ask him. Wait, 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 wait. You gonna say passing rate and accuracy? <laughs> pass <laughs> rating. I, accuracy. Let, let, I'll just let him go. All that touchdowns. On, if you ain't you, accurate, so I mean, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Listen. Shh. At, so, wait, 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 wait. You telling me the first thing you look at is the pass? I'm not wait, no, first. No, I'm not. I'm, no, I said. I, said. What, what did I ask him? No, I said. What's the first thing but you look that's at? That's what you said. Right. That's I'm what you said. Overall, you I didn't say said. that though. But I'm asking you a simple question. Why are you going beyond what I'm asking? If I said, what's the first thing you look at? You say passer rating and accuracy. That's what you're looking for in From a quarterback. A, a quarterback and how to play the game of quarterback. Are you talking? About, are you just going with statistics? I'm it's talking about that, but but those are statistics, like, but I'm, he's I, I'm actually, talking about like God. yards and you didn't touchdowns. say that though. Fuck, are you have a noodle arm with those touchdowns. Like, what nigga, you, you didn't. Chad say Pennington that, did. Though. You didn't say that. You said pass the rate Chad and accuracy. Who? Pennington. And what did he do? Threw touchdowns. How many? In what year? He did it. It was like 26, 27. But he again, did it. But remember. Uh, again. Like <laughs> but you said. But that's what I'm saying. You, I think you're, you you don't realize when you poke holes through your own argument because the point is, if you're looking for passing yards, touchdowns, that's always going to be Mahomes over Lamar. Lamar probably will never be able to do what Mahomes does ever. He's playing the quarterback position. Who is? They both do. So what are you talking Lamar. about? Lamar. Okay. Who has the MVP? 
They both Lamar. do. Both of them. Right, what are you talking about? They both do. That <laughs> year, both of them couldn't get it. No. You talking about, what are you talking about, 20, 2018? What are you doing, 2019? Listen, 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 what are you talking listen, about? Listen, 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 listen. I'm telling you that the one guy is the better player. Yeah, period. And he's yeah. the more popular player as well. But he wasn't, that's what I'm saying. That's the issue. The popular player that year, I don't agree with. No. Move on. I don't agree with that. Of course, but Mahomes is the better quarterback. No, yeah. No hands down. I got but that question. year, like, before no. We, before we move on, I got a quick cool question for you. Last season, who was the more popular player, Tom Brady or Aaron Rodgers? Mm-hmm. Aaron Rodgers. Coming off a Super Bowl win? I think you lost that one, Dre. Right? <laughs> oh, Coming off a Super Bowl win? win right? You lost that one. Popular? Because yeah, who threw for more yards? Who threw for more yards? Tom Brady. Okay. He led the league in, in passing. That was tired right, well, last year. Are yeah, you right? Tom Brady. More touchdowns. But he answered so quickly oh. and so confidently. It was Aaron Rodgers. But who won the MVP? Aaron Rodgers. So I ain't hear he's the more said. popular he player. Oh, my God. <laughs> Tom, Tom Brady is Tom way, Brady. way. Tom Brady is way more popular than Aaron Rodgers will ever be. Period. There's not even close. You actually hate Aaron Rodgers. It's not close. Yeah, no. It's, Aaron Rodgers don't even like talking to people for real. That's part of his job. What fucking gonna do? What you mean? He talk don't to talk to people. Matter. He, he only talked like to what you call him on his podcast. At my, at Matt McAfee. McAfee. He don't talk to nobody. He go in the hide I'm when he does. About, see, I look at shit a little as far as like talking to people, like interviews and shit. Like I ain't talking about podcasts. He talked to people. What? Pat McAfee got one of the biggest podcasts. He got I'm millions. Not of- talking about pop. I'm just talking about in general. But no, 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 talking no, about no, him no, not being as social game. as that's Tom is though. Game. I get that. But you say like just like he don't talk to people that don't. like. It's only he one person don't. he talks to. But that's a requirement for them. You know that, right? That's what I just said. I said that when I, before but, I even started. Just I said, yeah. See, he talks like he has. But to wait, talk. wait. Let's get back to the point, though. You lost, right? Admit that you lost here. Lost what? Because who's the more popular player? Out of who? Tom really? Brady and Aaron Rodgers. Tom Brady. So why did he win MVP last year? Because he had a better stats. No, he didn't. He didn't. Tom Brady did. He led the league in passing. And what else? He lead in touchdowns. He, he, he did. He had more. I think he did. Than Aaron he did. So that wasn't the year he won the Super Bowl. It was the year he came off the Super Bowl win. Yeah. Oh well. Last year, you know who won the Super Bowl? It was the fucking Rams. That's what I'm saying. That was mixed up. But no, what you just said was it's the popular player. You said the popular player wins of that year. You're losing. Tom Brady was more popular last year. You're losing. Pat last Mahomes, year. Pat yes, Mahomes but yet, popular yet Aaron Rodgers won. Aaron Rodgers still Shit, popular. Fucking, right? fucking but Josh not Allen. over Brady. Uh, if there's a, there were at least you poking four, holes in your own argument least, is the point we're trying to make to you. Dre, there were at least four or five guys that were more that are considered more popular than Aaron. In Rodgers. the face of the league, essentially. Last last season, yes. And yet, who won? Brady. Brady. Mahomes. Josh. Josh, Josh Allen with and I'm gonna say Joe Burrow. I'm throwing him in there. Oh, for sure. So the Rods is five. Then. But he won the MVP. But he won, yeah, and he won MVP still. Uh-huh. For your logic and what you're saying, the most popular place of person wins in that year, in that calendar and year. You're <coughs> saying the most popular person wins, and you think they didn't make a mistake by Lamar. making Lamar win the MVP, and, and not the, because not of the, how popular he not was, to, not to diminish, not his stats, not to diminish. Rodgers' stats, because Rodgers' stats was crazy. He had 33 touchdowns with four picks, with right. at least 4,000 yards. This, that's crazy. That's right. sort of the same thing with their man did this year. He only had five picks. He only had five picks. And how many yards? Had, how many yards 11, he got? I didn't check. I haven't checked. Politics and like all that like shit will lead to him not. Four, I think. I think it's like 30. Some, so why mm-hmm. wouldn't you think with those numbers Politics he wouldn't win there? And, and how many rushing shit. touchdowns? Over, Over 10. 10 plus. Over How many touchdowns? Like passing? Passing, it was 20. over 25 plus. Bro. That now, I'm not, that, right, I'm not, uh, everybody know I'm not an Eagles fan, but you, you right here, that, yeah. you're not even being real with yourself. But with those he numbers. wasn't going to get it over Mahomes. How many, how many touchdowns Mahomes got this year? Right. 30. I think 40 or close to. If he, if he give oh, you. Talking about all? Yeah, or total. Just passing. passing. Total, total, total for Mahomes. So it got to be like. It's 40. over 40. With five thousand, I think it was over four. Right. So if you're trying to tell me that if he don't play two games, Tom talking about talking about Jalen, Tom had I mean, five thousand last year too, though, Dre. With forty thousand, I, mean, I don't know specifically. I haven't been looking. Is it, it over four thousand? He don't have. It ain't quite four thousand. No. But all together, he's over. Yeah, total yards. Total. Yeah, total he's over. That's 4, what I'm saying. Now y'all changed the goalposts. We not because we talked about. You asked him a question. He answered it. No, you talked about 
touch. No, you said yards. Yards and touchdowns. Tom Brady had more than Aaron Rodgers oh, no, last year. No, 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 no. Back it up a little bit. Talking Pat Holmes. You don't even well, like we, the. He don't like to admit when he's fucking no, wrong. We talking about. You Pat. asked him a question, he answered it. But he ain't you changing just it. Said Pat Mahomes currently has how many touchdowns? All together, forty some, forty plus. You, you, it's all together. All right. together, forty okay. plus. You yeah, both want to look it up? Like, I, I don't, mom, I don't know mom, off the top of my which head. Which one may have all together forty plus touchdowns? I don't too. know all the off the top of my head, but I can look it up. Jalen Hurts may all together have, if, or if it, if not, it's close to it. Thirty nine yeah. or thirty eight. I don't think I forty. It might, if, if, but even it, still, bro. it's close. If it's close to it, it's Regular still season. That's what what well, we can't. You can't base the postseason. <laughs> Man, you see all together. Dre. Yeah, but we know that we talking about Dre, the regular season. Current, current day. What? We talking about now? Talking. The We're MVP talking. is based off the season. Regular season. The regular okay. season. So we talking about regular up. day. Put a poll up, please. Put what? a put a please, guys. <laughs> I will. So can, you know most of these people is Eagle fans, so whatever you ask is Eagle based. Right, you're you going to lose regardless. It. Be, tell him be honest. I will. I'll do it right when we're done here. Can you be honest? You that's what that's the point. My You're not being honest. Have one MVP. Dre, you know college. how much I talk about Jalen Hurts. I hate I hate the fact that the 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 the, the delusion. He can Eagle finish fans. second. That's fine. Mahomes hurts. No, we're not saying if I'm talking he can about as far second. as MVP. We know he's going to finish second. So what are we talking about here? If he didn't miss those games, he wouldn't have that finished was, second. Thank you. You wouldn't have Mahomes. Con- but that's hurts. you keep changing the argument back and forth because the point is, had he played, we still believe that it, it, it would maybe Jalen. He would have got Jalen. We don't know. See, there's the no sweat. maybe with me. He would have. You don't want it to that's be. That's an Holmes opinion. That's an opinion. Wait, and that's therapy. Right. But watch this. You don't ask hypothetical questions because that's a maybe. Okay. No, 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 no. Answer the question because you you avoid them all the time. Do you ask hypothetical questions? All yes time. or no? Yes. So that means you do a maybe. All the time. So then don't say that you don't do maybes when that is literally maybe. It's your opinion. It's not, Hurts. But, what the fuck? <laughs> right, right. You, you just said you do it. So that means you do hypothetical I shit. I know maybe. Mahomes would have had one. You, you know he would have won. Huh? All right. Never mind. Because you're not a voter. But 90%. I'm a, right, right. Out of 100. 90%. Right. Let, so yeah. Let's, so, so it's time for the shot, so Will. But guess, go ahead. I guess passing yards wise, it says 37. 3701. For Jalen passing, yeah, and twenty-two uh, passing, six interceptions, and he had oh, over ten. Off. He had over ten rushing touchdowns. How many did he have? Because if you had twenty-two passing touchdowns, and you got because what you call him one MVP with what thirty-five and 32. ten? Uh, Cam, Cam, yes, that's thirty-two. He had thirty-seven hundred passing yards and rushing two, three, and that's missing two games. Six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 13. So that's great. That's 35. 35 touchdowns, six picks. That's missing two games, too. So, it so on been average, he scores how many? He throws a run. How many touchdowns does he score a game throwing a in rushing? It was like one and one. I was, I was average two one and right. one. Two to one. Okay. No, I'm saying like one rush, one. Oh, well, yeah. Pass. So, yeah. So, total, right. so yeah. Touchdowns. Right. All together. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, one. even hey, still, though. What in fantasy? Score the most points in fantasy, right? Touch Did you just bring up fantasy going... football? Did you just bring up fantasy football? Bro. I know it. What you call him scored more than him last season. Tom Brady scored more fantasy That's what I'm saying. We already, I thought we already proved that point. He scored more fantasy points than Aaron Rodgers. That's fine. No, see you don't. He, you see what he does. Uh, he does not answer the question. Can I talk he about? What, can I talk about my team? Talk yeah, yeah. Because we never even got into it. We're going in circles. I, right I'm, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try not to, you know, go too, too, too far in with this. This but, nigga right here. Dre, I love him, man. But um, of course, you know, I'm the ones who know me, <laughs> watch me. I'm a Raiders fan, a diehard Raiders fan. Been Home one since Reagan. 01. Um, this season was a shit show. I was not happy. I was not. I was not, you know, pleased with every with, with all the shit that went on. I had high expectations, not super high, but I I had I had the I had the 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 high for me was at least 11 12 to 11, I mean, yeah, 12 to 11 wins and my low was at least 9 wins. Mm. This shit was just a disaster. That coach, he brought that Patriot trash over there and the shit just did it didn't work. 
He's 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 stuck on trying to be whatever the fuck he's trying to be. And you know, you know, this past week, you know, Carr let his uh he put his, you know, his 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 goodbye uh oh, yeah. tweet out, yeah. you know, cuz you know, he's not going to be a Raider no more. And for me, I'm going to always say regardless of what anybody says, the man was sabotaged, sabotaged. The play calling sucked and it, it just didn't make sense. And you've seen it the moment they put Stidham in. The moment they put Stidham in, they didn't do no end of rounds with fucking with fucking uh just hand it to him. It don't with, matter. with Devontae Adams. They didn't do end of rounds with fucking Hunter Renfro and everybody. They didn't do none of them gadget plays like flea mm-hmm. flickers and shit like that. It was regular play action or run the ball when Josh Stidham was in. Right. So for me. I'm going to say Carr was sabotaged on top of a defense that didn't do shit who was who was the worst when it comes to turnovers or top two worst or whatever. Like, so, for as long as Carr's been with the Raiders, he's never had a defense over ranked that's, – that's been ranked 20th and higher. So when you put all that shit together, within those nine years, he's ranked 32nd in defense. You can't win no games when your defense can't help you because everybody's not going to have a spectacular game. You're going to need your defense to save you every now and then. Right. He's never had that. Has he had the offensive weapons at times? Yeah, of course. But when your play calling sucks and then your defense ain't shit and you're the only player for real for that's making this franchise relevant, it ain't really much you can do. So let me ask you this. Who calls the play callers? Does he call the play calling? I like, think he does. Offensively? It's, 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 um... Oh my God, I forget who is. Because I know you probably got like an OC that maybe implement players, but it I don't is. know who calls them though. More, it's it's more so JDM. I hate saying his name. It's uh. <laughs> JMD. My fault. JMD. Okay. Yeah. Um, because what I will say, I don't obviously I don't watch a lot of y'all games either, but I had a player, two players on y'all team, um, that fantasy. So I watched a little bit, bits and pieces, but never full entire games. I thought that there was an adjustment maybe early to mid season. Where I saw Josh Jacob get the pill way more than he did previously, yeah, and that seemed to have worked. I thought it did. your biggest problem was defense. Y'all couldn't stop a fucking Nobody. soul. So we had to be in shootouts every so game. I, so I don't think the sole reasoning for y'all losing is on Josh McDaniels. I think he might have brought a winning culture somewhat, but if your defense isn't stopping anybody, I Patrick think that Graham. might be more of the culprit as opposed to offense because if you got Josh Jacobs who led the league in, in rushing, rushing. Devontae Adams had the most yards he's ever had in his career. He was top three. Now mind you rushing. did have Hunter Renfro miss games from concussions Darren from that Williams. one big ass hit that he had early in the year. I think it was the Cardinals, right? Yeah, and he was uh, out with a concussion and they yeah. fucked him up bad. That was these concussion shit. That shit is crazy. That was the second game of the season. Yeah, yeah, that was a bad joint. But when you couple that with um Waller missing most of the season. Right. Now you're working with Devontae Adams and Mac Hollins and I don't know who your third or, or whoever the the backup behind Mac is, but you don't have the firepower that you Mac. thought that you had coming into the season. Backup behind Mac was Keelan Cole. Hmm. Oh yeah, the boy from Jaguars. Right? Yeah, with the Jags, yeah. yeah, so I don't think it's offensively that your problem is. I think it's defensively because it was. It's not like Max Crosby is one guy and he was the he's only guy who showed he him. get pressure, but Chandler Jones was getting pressure, just not getting the sacks. Nope. Yeah. But that's why I, don't, I can't solely blame it on your offense if he's the one calling the offensive play calling because, I, like I said, you know I don't watch the games, but I know when I look at my joint from fantasy, I go, shit, that nigga Tay did it again. <laughs> I won another game. I was down like 30, 40 points, and Josh Jacobs and Tay did right. it again. But y'all not, y'all not winning the games, but I think it's more so the defense than it is and, the offense. And when you look at – when you look at and <coughs> it kind of goes with what you said. It has to be the defense because – Besides the Saints game in the last game of the season against the Chiefs, mm. every game was lost by one possession. Right, and that was like that the year before too, wasn't it? Like, you know, lose yeah. a lot of close games. Every game was lost. So that's what I'm thinking. That's why I said I can't solely. And then the year before, every year besides the first year when we had John Gruden, every game, every game win or every game lost was at least most of, majority of the season was won or lost by one possession. Okay. Right? 
Yeah, see that, but yeah, you can't. That that's defense, and like you said, if he's if he's been there for nine years nine and he's years, never had a top what defense, a, like never a top, never had a defense ranked higher than twenty. Huh. That's, yeah, that's, it, that's the problem. Right. That's the it's problem. Not get it. That's it not the offense, get it done. obviously, because Carden had dudes. He had nobodies and still put up like four thousand yards. So it's like. It ain't the offense. It's not him. You want to blame it on Carr? You just want somebody to point yeah. to and say, "All right, it's you. We gotta get rid of you and do something and else." That's what, and Fine. That's exactly what it was. But he's been there. He can't been there authentically the do that, though. Yeah, I mean, that's he's what they're doing. They took him there. out, put Stidham in, and yeah. And the the offense. If you watch the games, the offense looked totally. Rel was with me. And but he, you know that. Was, but you yeah. know that always happens, though. Like they, they gotta change. They the game stripped plan the game up. plan, like with with, with with Cooper Rush. You know all that bullshit that happened early in the year. It was a one two read thing, and that's it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't nothing hard for him to process. So when you're doing, as opposed to your starting quarterback, they want you to go through the progressions. You talking about one, two, three. You know what I'm saying? Then maybe check it down. Mm-hmm. With Stidham, they probably like, listen, man, you don't see the first motherfucker, open, you better throw that bitch to the check down. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because his expectations is way lower. And it, it always and then is like do, that. Then if he do do some shit, like, oh, that was really Right, right. Then you build on that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And that's what they're saying. Even with the nigga that played against us, uh, Sam Howell, they make it seem like he did something so great. I'm like, come on. I'm like, come on, man. Like, they got to stop. Guess what, though? <laughs> Guess what, though? It wasn't Heineke. I mean, <laughs> we lost to Heineke. Y'all lost to Howell. Yeah. yeah that was <laughs> um, bullshit. But yeah, like I said, if well, anything, so backup watch the Raiders quarterback. I mean, the watch third the backup, backup. The watch third stringer. The, the, the third stringer. That's but yeah, what you going to say? At least Heineke um, won some games. What I was going to say was, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like yeah, I said, I'm, y'all picked to go to Super Bowl now. Regardless of what happens, um, you know, I'm sticking with my team for for as long as I'm on this earth. Um, the things that I'm hearing, I'm not pleased with. I don't want no fucking Tom Brady. I don't want no fucking Jimmy Garoppolo. I ain't gonna lie to you. Let that motherfucker come to I'm, t- I'm taking that motherfucker, man. Uh, Remember who I said? Shit, I'll take that motherfucker any day. Mac of week. Jones. I don't want no fucking Mac, Mac Jones. 10. I, I don't want him either. Mac 10. We ain't got I don't time. Want him that shit about to uh, check. And, I told and, them to come on down. It's shot will time. Save it. And yeah, yeah, just bring we gotta do it. If it's if it's one person I, I only would want, it would be Aaron Rodgers. That's it. I don't want nobody. I don't. don't He's too selfish for me. I, he I, might be, but I feel I like him and him and him. But and what Devontae, would y'all give up to get him though? Give up Carr. They not gonna want that because the young boy won't play. Jordan Love, Jordan yeah, Love. yeah. He said if they not getting this done to his age, he said if it don't behind closed doors, as they said, he was like if it don't get done, like get me out of here. Let him go then. Y'all but that's but, get more but they not going. But they not gonna do that because he's been in the system for three years now. They go, it's, it's the same thing trust, how Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, it, it's that. the same thing with Aaron Rodgers with Brett Favre. They're not right. going to do that. They're like, we invested in you. Right. We've we seen expect- what you can do. Yeah. So We're going to give you this. I understand that. But like I said, like it's it's only one guy I would want. I don't want none of these young boys out here now. I don't want no fucking CJ Stroud or no Bryce Young or what's it, Will Levis or whatever. Will Levis from Kentucky. I don't want him. I don't want this Max guy that played for fucking TCU. Yeah. Which the young boy was the boy though before he got hurt from uh, Tennessee. He black boy. He was he ready. Oh, uh, he ready. He ready. Yeah, he, Hen- his, Hendon Hooker. Hooker. Yeah, Hendon. Yeah, Hendon Hooker. Yeah, Hendon Hooker. He, he ready. He, he ready. Because he's playing. If he didn't get hurt, oh my God. I oh. think he's been a starter for three plus years. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. If you playing in college for three plus years, <laughs> right. you ready. You ready right. for the next It's piece. the one year one is the Miss Trubisky's of the world. Yeah, that like, it's certain, like it's yeah. certain guys, like when it comes to like college guys. I don't, I don't like CJ Stroud either, though. I, I'm not I'm not sold on that shit. Like, like what you call him? He saw text me every now and then. Shout out to Kaz. Like, he saw text me every now and then about certain dudes. And I'd be like, bro, I'm not sold on but, this but, shit. Like, but like I told you, though, like I told you. It's shot will time. Like I told you. Every, everybody wants players to come out and play like. Be ready like Pat Mahomes, but people don't even realize. But Pat even Mahomes, Pat said he sat for a year and learned people from don't Alex even Smith. Realize that people want that though. But I know, but I'm saying like they're not looking at that part though. Everybody can't Texas come out and just be ready to play. Aaron Rodgers is one of the greatest quarterbacks we've ever he seen. Sat he sat for, for years yeah, too. he sat for he years, about three three years. Yeah, yeah. Three and remember, but I remember when he first. Was, regardless, I remember he when sat. he came out. I was like, we're gonna eat this nigga alive. We did the first game, and then after that. Regardless, He's been a boogeyman ever since. No, I understand what you're saying. Regardless, he sat. Both of those got both of those guys sat. They not doing that shit now. Zach Wilson, and that's what Zach Wilson is the happen, fuck out though. of there. Zach Wilson is the fuck out of there. Who? who but what you call Tua? Him? Tua. He's still on the leash. What's his name though? Uh, Kenny got, Pickett only was, came in because of what you call him. Kenny though. Pickett only came Rock in because he wasn't throwing Trubisky. the ball down. Yeah, the field. yeah. Trubisky wasn't. 
Which you call him? They wasn't Jim Trubisky. Jim Trubisky was supposed to start. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, yeah, Trubisky. Josh Rosen. That brother. They threw that nigga oh, right in the fire. Man, he got right the fuck out of there. Josh Rosen. Giving niggas chances. Like, yo, remember, you you gotta, know, remember when he got drafted? He said he gonna make them pay. Pay? No. You you. That is he even in the league anymore? I don't even know. He was on. Because that was Somebody Josh Allen him and them joint, yeah. wasn't it? Somebody and I, I was going to bring up him. He's Somebody probably him in, that, in that draft class. Yeah, I was just, Josh Allen was the one who. Yeah, see, from Wyoming. Everybody knew about that arm. But they gave, because his arm. They gave him that arm talent. It's crazy. Because his arm. Even his first year. Josh didn't look crazy. He needed Stephon yeah, yeah, Diggs. But he, he was did. doing that running shit. That's why. Yeah. He's running all over the he fucking field. He was doing a lot of running. Fucked up shit. Shot well, Tom. Yeah, he going to get – but that, that's what I say about anybody, though. When, once you show me what you can do without running the ball, that lets me know more about what you can actually do. I, that's, that's what I wait I, for. I don't like that running shit. That running shit leaves you vulnerable to get hit, and then you fucked up, and you're not playing the rest of the season. I.E. Lamar. I.E. Lamar and and your man. He runs a lot, too. So, like I, I said, I don't like that I don't shit. know what it was. But like see, said, he, you know what the difference is between them two? His, his physique is different. Yeah. He physically is just – more bulky than Lamar is. I don't think he's Lamar. Stockier. Yeah, yeah. He not as like light Lord, as uh, he is. Lamar is more of a, a slender. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Faster. He's faster right. than uh, Jalen. He's sleek. He's, he's, sleek. Right. he's, he's a sleek weight, quarterback. Though. He's Who? sleek. Lamar. He did well, put yeah, on weight, but, but that's but, why he but, probably hurt though. But he's still from just, putting on that weight. He he not as quick though. Yeah, yeah. You can it, tell that. You can look at it when he was. He had a long touchdown run against against the Bills, and they end up losing that game, but. He, you see, he was. Oh, yeah, gassed. we gotta do this shit. We want to just two hours. He's gassed. Damn. Um, so yeah, that's how. Come I, that's on, how bring I, your asses downstairs. They were just at the step. Um, but yeah, that's how I feel. Shot about it. well time. They're coming, my my brother, my guy. They're coming. But yeah, that's how I feel about my season. You know, I, I hope and pray things is better, and you know we can do this shit again next year, and hopefully I'm in a better mood. We we got, we got time for this. Well, you're the great. Say something. No. no, we I I gotta do it now. This shit about the chizak. That's why I gotta get this piece so that I can. Um, it's close. Uh, what we'll score? I know that which they were up, thirty-one twenty-four. Giants. Yeah. Quarter. Fourth. Uh, Fourth. Um, All right. Oh, oh shit. Oh. Ain't no Captain Kirk. He's been doing, known to do miraculous Crafting things. Kirk. That's All right. Shit, it's Captain Kirk. Y'all better bring your ass down because if you get selected, you, you got to go. Guy. But here we go. It's shot well time. You can tell I'm feeling it from my posture. You know? Ah. Well. She ah. asked for it. Ah. Tanisha, you've been selected to take. She's asked, she asked for it. Tanisha! Oh. oh. It is the four of local. Uh, <coughs> well, yeah. You asked uh, for this, wife. Yeah. And there you have it. Oh, wait, well, if she don't come down these steps, you got to take it four. No, the fuck I don't. <laughs> this nigga, yeah, I'm say, we got to hurry this shit up. Time this to check. But yeah, you know what I mean? Like, listen, this is what we do. This is our time. We do the shot well. Our wives are here. They said they wanted to be a part of it this week. So here we have it. Tanisha has been selected to drink a uh, shot of Four Loco. Mm -hmm. Four Loco is on the menu. Um, Four this Loco pregame. Yeah, and this is, this is from uh, the captain himself. We all find bullshit. Don't start that no. shit. We ain't buying no Four no. Loco, though. No. Hey, listen. I, would, I, buy, I buy good shit. I don't buy bullshit. You You're not buy... supposed to buy good shit. I do, though. We're doing a shot. I buy well, moonshine, like flavored moonshine. You be buying shit that nobody's consuming. Listen, it's that's not. For, that's for like it's for my punishment. cousin Sean or some shit. It's, Who the fuck? Will, I mean, like, it's for punishment. That's that, that's not punishment, man. You talking about in, in thirty years, somebody going to be like, did you have four loco? Yes, right. she's going to have it on air. This tonight. is the cause of you having, <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Listen, here you go, huh? Pour it up for. Her. Why? Here you go. What's the yo, point? Yo, of, yo, yo, why you what, talking? What's the go? point of the shot? Pour with? it up for. Her. What you mean? But that's like right. saying like giving somebody like dog shit. Like you don't have to give them dog oh, that's shit. What you've been selected to pick. That's Four loco. Four loco. Listen. No, that's what you you've been selected. selected. Come on now. Hey, listen, we got it recorded. We ain't cheating you. Yeah, we yeah, you want you want record. Oh, bang bang, oh, yeah. Ty. Yeah, bang bang. Go. We gotta do it again, but bang bang, Ty. You got it on there? Yeah, you don't see that shit right there. Yes, go ahead. Go ahead. Four loco, loco pregame shot of sour peach. Come on, Ty. Damn. 
Damn. Ugh. I well, always knew you love that shit. Anything. Thanks. That's nasty. Well, mm. two hours in, Mr. Well, game. We listen. Next. It's over. They won. It's like two minutes left, or probably less than that. Listen, we, we got two more tries. <laughs> it smells good, though. It's nasty as so? fuck. Smell. No, seriously. Bro, I keep telling you, night train smell good. <laughs> I'd rather drink nitrogen for a logo. I'm All not right. drinking none of that shit, man. <laughs> this is my favorite part of the game. Rum. Ooh, that's that honey proof shit. No, nah, that's that Ray. No, that's El Capitone. Ah! And there you have it. Drink that bullshit, nigga. Drink, bitch. Listen. That's Ray, right. you said, right? Yeah. I gotta get it. That's yeah. Ray, right? I guess. Give him the whole bottle. No, right there. The, the yellow. Oh, no, yeah, got no, right oh, right it there. must have been that. It's the Captain no, no, Morgan. No, 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 no. It's Captain Morgan. No, no, no. It's the no, Captain it's Morgan. No, he said right. He said right. right. No, he said right. I got right. Ray and nephew on there separately. Yes, thank you. Ha, bitch. Is that? I ain't put Captain That's Morgan. Like Captain Morgan. That right there. Fucking. The fucking retarded. You. Y'all said the yellow one. All right, all right. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. You gotta go. It's all right. Oh, you should be doing it one more time, right? Yeah, one more. There's more people. Listen, oh, authentic right, at its finest. This is what we're going to do. Authentic. We won't bullshit with liquor. We drank that shit. All right, let me we'll do see. one more. One more will. One more we'll stay. We'll one see. more spin. Oh, fuck. This is. Right. This for good sucking time of delight. Step back. You have to oh, man. Oh, Uncle no. Ray and his nephew. No. Somebody's about to get their ass stuck into the night. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> hey, Dirk, this one was for you, dog. They ain't get me, Dirk. They ain't get me, dog. Just give them the bottle. They ain't got a put on shot. I said, I got to hurry up. Come on, give me here. Oh, God. They ain't get me, dog. Oh, Ray, niggas. Yo, shut the label, shut the label. Oh, woo, he just took it like a... Yeah. Oh, oh, man. <laughs> oh. That's what I'm saying. It's Ooh. spitty. Oh, oh thank God. Where, where her say it's just, it tastes like celery and shit. <laughs> Shout out to our man, Shane yeah. Falco. Shout out, My favorite part of the episode. Listen. It, it it it's embedded in my heart for the simple fact of I like to see mainly I like to see how people talk shit about things that we should not drink as unprivileged drinkers nowadays and to see people's facial reactions and what they, what they have to say about it. This shit is hysterical to me. It really is. It's funny when people it ain't bitch you. about right. it. Can, oh, sorry. They, they, they complain about it. it it's you. funny when it ain't you. But we gotta but go. When it, yeah, when it's you, listen, we about to sign yeah, up. Yeah, tap in, tune in, subscribe to the channel, do all you gotta do. We gotta go. This shit is getting crazy. Shit about to die. I gotta get something. They said for this. it ran nephew. <sighs> yeah, fuck that. We gotta go. Shit got shit then just got real. Oh shit. Or, or maybe not. They ain't get it. <laughs> <laughs> But Shit too easy. Game. That's game. Yeah. God. When the teacher asked me who I raised me, said them streets did. They underrated me, never paid me, but them streets did. Who brought the billionaires to the hood, gonna tell you meek did. Who bringing real niggas home for good, gonna tell you meek is. Yeah. That's cause my mama told me different. I got people praying for me from all religions. Never turn my back on Jigga, and every time he talk, I listen. But I got so much murder on my mind that it be hard to listen. Billionaires on all my visits. PTSD starting to kick it. It was a blessing, I invested my taxes hard to keep.